Kilt's War, a 1v1 Arabia. Kilt's War, is he going? Yeah, Drush. From 23k, aka Jibatong. Alright. While for Choco, it's defensive mode. Torture ranges, I'm assuming that, yeah, exactly the same. Torture ranges, I like these two archer ranges placed on top of the hill in front of his main gold to take away some of that heal advantage for, uh, from the uh, enemy of the opponent and yeah, raiding mode here from 23k which is on the way to castle age while Choco now on the way to set the difference between them is well, 2 minutes in the range of 2 minutes I'll see uh, in the end of the game yeah so castle age, castle age and the game is catching up in real time hopefully just in time before they are finishing this one so still uh, some defensive play here but by Choco but not completely defensive like that he's also uh, trying to wait to counter rain uh, and threatening now to take down uh, an extra town center with the gold that's the third town center so three town centers for 23k and finally the game is running now in uh, real speed normal speed all right uh, Choco with some stone walls, but he didn't finish that one. Heading back uh, home with his two mangonels. A third one coming out from that siege workshop. And uh, a town center, this is the third one. Yeah, it's the third one for him. So yeah, the, the population difference is uh, quite significant with uh, 22 villagers more. And uh, wow. 22 villages more and uh, 12 more army for 23k for Jibatong one defensive tower to, to, to try and protect uh, this town center even more now he's trying to keep it repaired until that mangano coming to do the work beautiful stream name uh, who is 23 guy he played a lot lately uh, slapping uh, you know of the big boys <laughs> Dobbs uh, 351 thank you man uh, well, he's not a, let's say, a very known Chinese player, like Yo, like Paladin, Team, you know, one of those guys, Lix or Love Cheng. But he, he used to play until a few weeks, months ago, more in Wubli, China. His uh, a better nickname uh, there, it's Jiba Tong, 23K. But uh, with this upcoming Nations Cup, yeah, we see more and more Chinese players coming in Wubli US to play and uh, to feel, you know, how the other guys uh, outside China players, uh, they're playing, their style, their strength and to try and fit and yeah, practice, not only between them, the Chinese, not the case, uh, well, uh, every time, but now yeah, he's playing versus Choco. Anyway, uh, again, he's not one of the very, very famous ch Chinese uh, players, but nevertheless strong. I mean, as you can see, he's uh, close to 2.2k rating in Wubli US, which is impressive. If he's winning this game, yeah, he will get closer. He will get closer to 22k. I don't think he will go above, but he will get closer. And with big chances, actually, to win it. Yeah, it's not finished yet. Uh, Choco still maintaining the pressure over that uh, town center with the extra gold. Watch out with the monk, indeed. And he's gathering more and more knights. But we have uh, 23k on the way to Imperial Age. Two wins more, he will be 2, 2k too. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I don't think now that he will get 15 points. Uh, it's possible, but I don't think so. Uh, the difference with the, with the rating between him and Choco is not that big. Uh, nevertheless, he will be he will be closer and closer to 2.2k. Like you said, two games and uh, yeah, oh, good hits though, good hits. 
two monks going down while one Mangler or one monk down for Choco and Choco still maintain the pressure to the left hand side extra gold there for 23k sending some villages to build another lumber camp and uh, still trying to keep that town center repaired but a lot of units inside i mean why not coming out with a bit more villagers right uh, to, to keep that pc repaired uh well he's trying to come from behind with his group of knights right well let's see choco 99 population he will be on the way to imperial age but the difference with the up in time might be the same like it was uh, with the castle age time around two minutes uh yeah two minutes it's actually three minutes without six seconds so two minutes and 54 seconds wow so imperial age now for 23k but army wise we have uh, choco with more not a big difference though by any means 102 population while now chain barding armor for 23k uh, we have 23k dropping the population though to 95 while now choco check it out 102 population uh, we have 23k able to finish that uh, castle just in time when those knights are in the in the area to do the damage right and we see choco running back a little bit uh, now this this uh, uh, this relic might be for the Japanese player but let's see for now these few crossbows doing the work and uh, helping the Chinese player to defend in his base right Imperial Age Imperial Age Imperial Age what is the plan here uh, seems to be very low with the wood 23k but food and gold still okay -ish. and Choco it's building a castle and picking up the relics well he has this castle already on top of that hill in front of that town center outside uh, with the extra stone building now another castle to the right hand side uh katsuni it is chocobo i know bob i know but uh, if uh, the actual nickname is choco it's i know it's chocobo uh, these new japanese players also been playing on the chinese wubli some of them some of them but uh, you know you can you can check yourself uh, there uh, i mean you would think that uh, asia would play in wubli china but you know that uh, i mean if you if you don't know just because of the chinese big firewall they have there you know uh, the chinese players mainly they have problems with uh, the outside connections so you won't see too many of the uh, of the other asians players even playing in the in the Wubli uh, China so even though they are let's say locally right on the same continent in Asia uh, just because of that uh, firewall and uh, even then they have uh, problems you know and they have to use some VPNs to go outside and so on. it's it's kind of complicated and uh, mostly the Chinese players are playing there. I mean I don't think I have seen uh, a lot of other players outside China when, when I was you know lurking in Ruby China more back in the days anyway we have Cavalier upgrade uh, incoming for 23k while uh, Choco is going for the elite wood raiders so let's see if a mix of these elite wood raiders with I'm assuming that he will research also Pike or even uh, helps will uh, will uh, will help Choco to, to hold I like this fast houses fast reaction to keep the Knights future Cavaliers from 23k going uh, there to the other economy the other town center with the extra economy uh, yeah it's Chocobo man who is 23k does he have uh, aliases yeah I just said that earlier he is known in Wubi China as Jiba Tong he's not uh, any other famous let, let's say more famous chinese player like yo paladin love cheng leaks uh, team uh, they, they are no jibatong but pretty strong player pretty strong player okay uh, another castle now for 23k to uh, to, well, to give him some more protection for the future gold miners i'm i'm assuming that after finishing this castle these villagers will go and take the gold but let's see oh i like that he's also going some wood raiders and even elite wood raider uh, upgrade on doi for 23k as well another day another naughty stream title <laughs> hello meat man <laughs> 
Yeah, man, it's a fact, right? I mean, if you if you if you think about it, it's 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 a fact, right? Those Chena players together are three K, but when they're divided into random teams, they suck hard. Not necessarily, seriously. I mean, Vubli, uh, I mean Vubli, uh, China A and China B. I think both of them will be in top uh, in top four. Or, or let's say top eight. Uh, let's not go that far. Uh, but in top eight, I see both Vu, uh, both China A and China B uh, in this Nations Cup. Seriously. But let's see. Nice communication. <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, I know. I know what you mean. Anyway, we have Choco uh, in control of the game now. So after being raided and able to hold against uh, the raiding in coming from 23k. Now he is trying to put some pressure uh, to 23k's base and his earlier Elite Wood Raiders help him to do that, especially with the raiding. These are fast units and pretty strong. Seriously, pretty, pretty strong. So that's why we, I, I think that's why I have see, we have seen 23k also researching the Elite Wood Raider upgrade and now even more uh, upgrades for his Wood Raiders to match the enemies, the Chocos. So he has plus four attacking upgrade and plus four armor, while these are with plus two, plus two, you see? They are not that strong, but now he's researching more upgrades for attack and for the armor. I uh, think that Vubli China might have another better player than Viper that we uh, know nothing of. No, Dobbs, they don't. I mean, don't you think that uh, the Chinese players uh, in the big even in the big 1v1 tournaments they want to win the cash don't forget that two years ago right in uh, 2015 it was uh, that 1v1 a big tournament that uh, have the top eight players going to maldives remember that one and uh, in in that one there were two chinese players uh, now well, as far as I remember, but uh, I can name two. It, it was Yo, uh, S Y Yo, and Love Chen Ingua, uh, Ingua, right? And uh, yeah, Viper won, but uh, still. So no man, going back to our game fast because we can talk about this between the games. Choco was able not only to hold pushback and win this game to even the score. The first game won by 23k, and now Choco denying the 2.2k for the for, for this chinese player and now he is the one uh, to go closer to 2.1k but i think being lower rated than the enemy actually uh, he got 2.1k let's fast watch the achievements though military more kills for choco with whoa way more army so yeah less expensive infantry army compared to the uh, knights and also the upgrades to cavalier for 23k gave choco more army good job man economy choco with more food more food and stone not a big big difference while pretty big difference for 23k with the gold but not using the the resources let's say as wise as choco uh, and choco with better food and uh, better wood excuse me and gold uh no no, no. Eh, what, what i'm talking wood and gold for 23k okay and well quite significant the differences but even so choco able to win this one in the end with eight villages highest more for 23k and two to one the relics okay not a big difference with those righty right going back changing the score into two into one one and let's see we might see now some team games not uh, not anymore 1v1s i see 23k uh, still hosting then leaks ingua yo uh, cl whoop choco uh, havana righty right so where to go man uh, i see nikov playing in one what's their team game winchester dirani arai nikov cave bolt dench warrior okay if it is uh, if it is team games i i, I rather stay with these guys I mean, let me display the game room. Hopefully that they will play some games. Don't trick me into that one. Uh, okay. Hello, Benzema. Uh, top 8. Okay. So uh, what I was saying, Dobbs, uh, two years ago, yeah, we had that uh, uh, 1v1 big tournament uh, with the finals played basically on LAN. So top 8 players went to Maldives and uh, 
the Viper won that tournament and Io and uh, Ingua was Chinese representatives. So don't you think that if it was the case or even if it is the case, uh, the Chinese players, they don't want to, to go for the extra cash they do, man. Please spec Nikov. Nah, I'm not. It, it's also a team game. I, I, I rather stay with these uh, guys, at least for now. Uh, uh, so what are the teams? I think it's going to be Yo uh, Yingua Lix versus Whoopsiel and 23k. But let's take uh, out the names until we see who is playing who. 3v3. <laughs> nice to see. So yeah, uh, I don't think there is uh, a better Chinese player in 1v1 than SYO. <laughs> Speknikov. <laughs> I will, man. I will. I mean, if these guys will play like a weird map, whatever, uh, yeah, I might consider. And they're coming back, as you can see. Try to call that tourney, but that time did not follow it all the way. Yeah, well. And uh, after that one, there was, there were some other tournaments uh, as well, like Master of... Uh, uh, Arabia Masters of Arabia 2v2 so we we potentially could have seen you know some Chinese players it was uh, this tournament with balance patch so uh, they are they are coming out if if it is the case obviously they are coming out and uh, usually in you know Nations Cup and uh, in these top teams like China A China B where they have the best players if it is uh, a really strong player another one than the, the already known ones uh, you will see them joining one team or the other man <laughs> leaks better <laughs> nah, nah, it, it's okay i mean we all have preferences but uh, again if it's coming down to some team games uh, no offense to the other guys i mean nikov it's nikov and he, he's amazing but we have Dirani, 17, Winchester, uh, I like his, his play. Uh, Arai, I know him, or Arai, Nikov. Then uh, the Clave, which is under uh, 17, it's 16.89 in team games. Usain Bolt, a Turkish player. Denge, which is also 17-something. Warrior, so I, I mean, potentially, again, I, I, I don't want to... Uh, to go for best of the best or uh, like highest rated games and so on but if i have an option to choose why not man to go for something potentially that it's better than the other that's my point man i say yo uh, i saw yo those last months but uh, i didn't find him amazing like people told or he isn't uh, his top shape benzema well uh, he came back uh, in vubli us like one month ago uh, yeah, well you would expect uh, at this very high level uh, with players like Yo, Viper, I mean, all top players that they don't need uh, weeks or months to come back into a better shape. So, but Yo is still playing super strong, man. Nevertheless, uh, players are different, right? Maybe one needs more time than another one. But I see Miguel playing and streaming in room number nine along with Fiege. So it's Hart, Miguel, Slacktarn, uh, Jedi Chaos, don't know him, Leary and Fiege. It's a three versus three. Guys, you want me to go there? Let's go there, right? Let's see Fiege, Miguel, Hart, Leary. Okay. Let me reset the score and let's go there. Let's go there. This is one uh, nice one uh, of the nice things when you have big tournaments incoming. You see a lot, a lot of uh, players coming to play practice and so on. It's great, man. It's great. Joined for 19 and they just barely started. So, I mean, it shows that uh, they are in the game for two minutes with a spec delay of 130. So, should be able to catch up. Hello, Mulzi. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm playing uh, Nations Cup as well, representing Denmark. Oh, best of luck, man. We will get smashed. Our highest rated guy is low 18. Uh, list of those who could participate. Ah, best of luck, man. Nevertheless, you know, 
Yeah? Important is when you start something to finish. I mean, this is the most important thing. Of course, that uh, if you play, when you play, you also uh, you also want uh, the best outcome for for you for your team and, and so on. But most importantly is you guys are playing, are participating. <laughs> Hearth, Liri, Fiege, Miguel. Yep, it's displayed here. So let's put uh, Miguel, Fiege, and uh, I'm thinking Chaos. Yeah, let's change here everything. So we have Brazil flag and for Hart or Liri, let's go Austria. Austria. And we have VH plus team. Okay. And Liri plus team. Okay, fixed. Woohoo! Ah, Peter Van, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's worth paying for prostitute or it's porn good enough. It's up to you, Peter Pan. Nothing compares to the actual feeling of that super soft skin of uh, the perfect pussy, man. It's, it's, your, it's your choice. I mean, if you want to feel your joystick all the time, be my guest but uh, you can never replace again completely that uh, that feeling and let's say the perfect device that uh, a girl a chick was gifted with so it's up to you man see if we can get some nice result but where is like a boss where is Koning's grade or uh, something like that uh, nickname the Danish 2K, 2.1K plus. Yeah, well, a girl, it's a girl, man. It's, you, you, you just can't fully replace it. I mean, yeah, you, you, you can find substitutes if you use your left, your right, or both hands, or whatever, you know, but yeah, the real, th the real thing, the original, let's say, it's, uh, it's always better, man. <laughs> Thank you. No problem. I know it's it's trolling, but still, hope that helps. Yes. Uh, let's remove yes. the old G, and we have Miguel Fiege and Chaos indeed. While in the other team we have Leary, Hart, and Slactar. Let's see the civilizations. You can see them, by the way. Turks, Chinese, and Byzantines. And let's see the pockets and the flanks. Right in the left hand side here, in this flank we have. Heart Chinese versus Chaos with Turks. And in the right hand side, uh, the other Chinese uh, in the Brazilian team, VH versus Turks. Yeah, Lily. So this is uh, similar civilizations or match civilization, while pockets are the same for both teams Byzantines, Miguel for VH uh, and the team, and Slagtarn for Lily's team. Does Australia have a team? As far as I know, yes. If you scroll down here or if you type aoczone.net in your browser, you go there, you will see the announcement for the Nations Cup in the main page and uh, just uh, click on that one, read more and you will see participating teams. But yeah, Australia, I think they even have two teams, not 100% sure, but one team, they do have 100% one team, at least one team. So yeah, you, you'll see Australia playing in this Nations Cup 2017. Righty right, where is Fiege? I want to see Fiege laming. Uh, yeah, uh, especially being uh, a flank on the right hand side, his versus Liri. Liri with the first bore incoming. The second bore of Liri is also uh, forward. So uh, Fiege can go for that, but now for now uh, he's yeah, he, he, he wants to find his own uh, resources like uh, sheep, boars and, and so on. Business broken camels uh, too OP can easily get constant double stem production of camels in start of castle age dobs. Yeah, man, I mean, uh, camels, they do have a weakness. You, you, you know that already. Uh, it's called the camel toe. No, I, I'm joking, of course, but uh, 
they are not uh, so great against ranged units like crossbows, cav archers, you know, and, and, and so on. Uh, not as good as knights, but for uh, Byzantines, in my opinion, I, I have seen a few games, man, in 1v1 when uh, that respective player won with uh, Byzantines camels. They are cheaper, they cost less, so why not? It is still a very good unit. And for Byzantines, also they have cheaper spears, spikes, uh, halbs, and skirmishers, elite skirmishers, so why not, man? Uh, they can do also a combination, right? to try and aim for the enemy uh, crossbows, let's say, with his own skirmishers, and then with the camels, with the, the cheaper camels and skirmishers, you know, to, to counter pretty much whatever uh, the enemy is trying to come forward with, or when, 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 he's, when he is attacking. So no laming, no laming. I was hoping that we will see uh, the queen of lamings, VH here, uh, do a little demo, demonstration, but it didn't happen right 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 now chaos just found the enemy he found heart uh, they might have some connection issues because sometimes the game is just freezing for like, for a couple of seconds All right 21 population for heart still creating villages two more cute miguel whoa three farms already two villages more cute uh, as a pocket well pockets usually go for a bit later feudal age but in return aiming for a faster castle age and miguel didn't go for his second boar wow and he can see it he prefers to lure the bambis to the town center instead of going behind the forest for a, a, a pretty long walk here a long distance to bring his second boar to the town center so he had one now a Bambi and a second Bambi and going for the third Bambi to compensate for that one boar. Eh, it's not completely weird, but uh, usually you want the completely free food, man. No matter how far that is. And even, yes. in my opinion, even with, uh, with one villager loss, it's still worth, man, to have at least 300 completely free food. That's worth it, man. As business pockets, what is most standard metaphor when hitting Imperial is confusing Sieve to choose correct open strat with as pocket I feel. Well, you know, usually uh, usually the flanks depends what the flanks are going for as well. Alright. If uh, if for example flanks is going drush, right, and see the enemy going one type of army, then communication is important not only uh, in byzantines or with byzantines 1v1 i mean 1v1 what am i 2v2 3v3 whatever communication it's important because uh, it, you can say okay the enemy is doing this 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 so you know what to do right you know what to do you do knights if uh, your ally says that the enemy has let's say an army of skirmishers yes. right a big group of skirmishers then knights uh, are better if the enemy is faster and he's, uh, you know, even doubling or, or raiding pretty big time with knights, then, yeah, it's an obvious choice that you go for camels. Okay, we have feudal age, feudal age, feudal age for pretty much everybody. And, and... Archery ranges. Well, Chinese, yeah. Initially, a lot of them, they are going for uh, crossbows. Does he yes. mine gold? Yeah. Four villagers on gold. Purple, uh, stream, snipe, and listen to you to take boar. <laughs> no, man, I think... Well, I think uh, probably he didn't want to risk, you know, uh, the, the early villagers. And uh, he took it when he when he had that uh, loom researched and also able to lure yes. all the three Bambis. Now he will have enough enough food to even go up. Look at the food, man. He will be on the way to Castle H without too many problems. But I'm assuming that Slacktarn will be as well. Yeah, as you can see, only one farm also lured the Bambis to his town center. He was even a bit faster to feudal age, building blacksmith and stable, same as Miguel, most likely, indeed, stable and uh, blacksmith. So, uh, uh, also Slacktown will be to castle age a bit faster. 
Righty right, just finish the blacksmith, finishing the stable and on the way to Castle Age. Yep, Castle Age with 29 population while Miguel is with 31 population and on the way to Castle the difference between them 12 seconds and we have Miguel 29 villagers stacked on 20 so one will more. Eh, more or less it's it's this difference to create a villager you need 24 or 25 seconds so this is it more or less like i said vh with uh, some palisade walls to protect his base uh, not yet there in the back not completely still with the four villagers on gold while leary also with a wall a full wall as well indeed and one stable oh even mining some stone uh, who, uh thank you oh uh, peter pan 007 thank you for the follow man thank you for the support can be appreciated who is the highest rated team game player in vubi at the moment or uh, least the strongest team game player uh you know that uh, uh rated ratings doesn't speak or doesn't tell the whole story all the time important is and we 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 could see you know uh in these last finished uh, few tournaments we had Leary that is playing here uh, in 1v1 uh, that tournament with the balance patch played he played in the final versus Viper and Viper was lower rated than than Leary at the time if I remember correctly but Viper just uh, won that final 5-1 man I mean more than convincing 5-1 so it's like uh, let's make a let's make an analogy or uh, something similar uh, it's like football when you know it, it doesn't matter if one team is winning in friendly game 5-0 against another team when in official game that team that lost in friendly can win it right it, it's a difference uh, Nikov is number one at the moment. Yes. Hello, Hasu Magic. Uh, on ladder and in real too. Uh, Benzema 911. I'm not convinced, man. I'm not convinced. I mean, one more time. This should be reflected in uh, in the performances, in the achievements. And you could see that uh, Nikov. Uh, I don't know. Probably he has to uh, change something in his mental preparation because it's one thing again rated games but what's more important to be number one in rated or to win more tournaments in my opinion your opinion may be different than mine but in my opinion it's more important to be let's say a hundred points less than number one rated guy but have 10 titles versus zero titles you know what i mean so yeah it's in tournament games actually you see uh, the the real strength of the player because there it's extra motivation uh, extra cash and when it's something extra always when there is something extra you know people play uh, differently some of them uh, not their top just because you know that psychological factor and so on and the other players like Jordan Viper, you know, they play to their best or to, yeah, yeah to, to their best, to their highest. And one more time, uh, the tournaments in the past, in the 1v1s, they were won by who? Viper, right? Or Doubt? There was another 1v1 tournament that you can tell me uh, to have another winner. I don't remember. But again, I didn't follow AOC no. completely for the past few months, two, three months. So I might not know. I was away a little bit, right? But in 1v1, just name another player than Viper and Doubt that won, right? In that uh, Clash of Hippo, whatever, with, uh, well, whatever the name was, uh, Nidhi's tournament, the 1v1 with... Uh, those uh, not necessarily unusual set but non-standard settings yes. remember it was doubt that won versus viper in the grand final 
And yes. uh, in this uh, tournament, uh, with the balance uh, uh, patch, Viper won in the final versus Leary. Paladin the Max and uh, a team. It's supposed to be very strong team games players in 4v4 and 3 Yes, they are. Uh, I don't want too many tournament games in AOC. Well, he won 2v2. Nomad. Uh, did finally to uh, Benzema. I, I, I never said and I will not say that Nikov is not a strong player, but is not is not the strongest player. Yeah, the, the rating uh, shows him there. Number one. But one more time, man, what's what's more important no. to held uh, to hold number one rating or to have tournaments won in your resume or whatever you want to call it? I think the later one is more important, right? Also with the extra cash, with uh, with the achievements. Go for Nikov, uh, Vubli uh, profile and see how many titles he has there because some of them, if not all of them, they are displayed. And go to Viper and make a comparison. We we're talking... No, no, no. He asked for both 1v1 and... Uh, and for uh, uh, ah yeah, who is the highest rated team game player in Vubi at the moment? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, my bad. Two v two, two v two. Well, in two v two, it was in the Masters of Arabia who won the tournament. Viper and MBL, right? So you see, guys, tournament man, like uh, in in other sports. Friendly games, friendly matches in, is one thing and tournament games played for uh, the achievements, cups, extra cash, it's another thing. I'm not saying completely different thing, but another thing, another level. This is how I see it, man. And yeah, these guys, one more time, they are very strong, super strong. I love Max, man, he's amazing. His uh, skills with... Uh, with uh, at the same time creating army right even if his uh, flank pocket whatever creating army and going for the boom it's crazy man i said more than one time like how the hell he's able to do all these man to to do like uh, the the strongest boom so many times between all the players in the game and also uh, have the achievements with largest army most kills even sling and so like what the hell man so super strong the max zupi uh, another strong uh, uh, player 1v1 and, and team player nikov obviously and not only nikov all these guys leary uh, heart they are amazing but they have to prove man they have to prove you know in tournaments that's what i'm saying man 2v2 it's very different i totally agree dobs and i also said it a few times even though uh, all of them are team games 2v2 it's different than 3v3 and different than 4v4 and i also said that when it comes to team games me personally i prefer more to see 3v3 2v2 than 4v4 in 3v3 you know uh, often we can see double uh, right uh, in uh, two players from one team doubling on one player on the other team it's more aggressive you know 3v3 in my opinion 2v2 it's also nice also aggressive they can play it uh, like two 1v1s uh, each player in in their own respective side or uh, again double from one team to one of the other teams it's okay but uh, 4v4 i'm not saying it's it's not good by any means but it's different man often we see you know team walls uh, players going for late imperial age uh, it's it's not that exciting as in 3v3 and 2v2 but that's me man and uh, he has good results also third in sy cup that's li like i said nikov is a, an amazing player and uh, yeah wish him to to pass uh, that you know psychological thing whatever he has because we could see we could yes. clearly see man uh, especially when he played that first game versus uh, Leary he, he was right in the round robin in the balance uh, patch tournament 
dude when he lost the first one well the first the first game then the second one I, I i really felt like he's not in the mood to play anymore man seriously he yes. was not uh on another note in other matches man he was just destroying the opponent well if he's working on that psychological thinking and approaching of the game yeah he's an amazing player he is an amazing player and we have like i said not only him a lot of them they have uh, really high potential and going back to our game uh, because i didn't i was trying to answer the question but you guys can keep talk between you obviously and uh, to answer each other's <coughs> ah excuse me so a double here from miguel and vh into leary but leary holding his own ground and by the looks yes. himself Slaktar didn't send uh, anything significant there to help him but with those pretty strong Genisaries and the Mangalans to take care of the enemy crossbows it seems that Liri is more than fine so watch out watch out man watch out Miguel don't lose your knights one by one completely for free but Miguel back home is also getting raided by heart and pretty big time he doesn't have too, uh, too many units left back home but instead a lot of stables Miguel though on the way to Imperial Age followed by Leary so a 95 population for Miguel on the way to Imperial Age but his economy doesn't seem to be like super super strong especially with the gold uh, these bloody knights they are pretty expensive and another villager will go down no miguel is trying to save that one running away with the veil while in the meantime bringing some knights to take care of the remaining crossbows uh, the third player to be on the way to imperial age now slack turn okay while on the other flank it's a full pushback from leary fee age is running back he cannot match the Genisaries and the manganels right he has another group of crossbows though that vh another group of crossbows trying to raid uh it's slack turn okay slack turn with one defensive castle uh, again not too many nicer so watch out and some of them they're already lower hp oh one house it's down though and these knights can kill quite a lot of villagers uh, and VH, let's not forget, he has the crossbow. So, he, as you can see, Slackter now is trying to save the remaining villagers, but only to lose more. One, two, three, four, five villagers, six villagers, ay, 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 seven even. Right, and Miguel uh, able to hold, at least for now, what he has. He has played Barding so the plus four uh, 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 armor on the way with Cavalier upgrade. Imperial Age now for Chaos for VH and Heart will be the last one to go up to Imperial Age. Uh, in the other flank, this uh, castle on top of the hill offers some very good defense uh, for Heart. So it won't be too easy for Chaos to push through that side, obviously. Now he is retreating back. Okay, he's retreating, he's going back a little bit. While we have Leary uh, uh, now going forward to put some pressure on VH while Miguel in the middle to build another town center with some extra gold and Cavaliers will he also research uh, the heavy camel upgrade we have to wait and see obviously right VH flaring he needs help right there help I need somebody yes. help not just anybody help uh, he is at viper level on skills but mentally he doesn't have uh, his strength to control his exactly Benzema I mean again uh, he's playing super strong but this is where he has to prove man in tournaments when mentally he has to be at the same level you know with his let's say usual day by day uh, rated games play he's playing amazing and I totally agree he is at the very very high level if he will be able to overcome you know that uh, bloody mental uh, uh, not issues or you know whenever and all players basically that that they are playing against viper and not only him at the high level uh, in in more than rated games again the tournament games they have you know emotions are getting out of control you know, those kind of stuff that just uh, deny them or uh, not allowing them to play at their full full potential anyway 
hopefully that uh, yeah anytime soon he will be able to overcome all these and we will see a super shiny Nico playing and winning more uh, more more tournaments man he deserves it nevertheless we have Miguel though researching Paladin upgrades so even though as Byzantines uh, they don't have all the upgrades still Paladins are Paladins pretty strong while on the other flank uh, we have a stalemate here another castle for Hart he was able to place another one on on, on on that hill coming closer and closer to Chaos Chaos though with Turks he didn't switch completely to gun power units now he's mixing in some hand cannoneers along with the crossbows and he has one bombard cannon while on the right hand side though the push from Lily still continues I mean he's trying to take down this defensive castle of VH population wise though blue player seems to be pretty low 95 uh, in 40 minutes yeah quite quite low let's see if he will be able to to stay like uh, that to stabilize and uh, uh, in the other flank to see if uh, the double or, or well not if the double which of the double uh, is stronger Miguel and Fiege with Arbalest and the Cavalier future Paladins or uh, Leary with these elite Janissaries by now and Bombard Cannons while where is what is Slactar where is and what is whoa Cataphracts researching uh, we have heart elite chukonus so cataphracts they are so strong but why cataphracts man why cataphracts we have miguel with paladins and uh, again even though they are not uh, the most uh, the, the strongest ones they are missing uh, the plus four armor which is a pretty important one we have slacked on even researching the elite cataphract upgrade that's that's a very expensive upgrade to to do and he's coming finally on the right hand side with his group of future elite cataphracts miguel uh, doing byzantines paladins yes. he is man and another castle no it's another siege workshop or a forward siege workshop now for heart he was able to keep that castle repaired and again two only two i can say only two bombard cannons here and with the third one joining the party for chaos and chaos 107 population still pretty pretty low and yeah the paladins will show their full strength well full their strength right now because again these paladins are not uh, fully upgraded they're missing the plus four armor byzantines they don't have the fully upgraded but nevertheless like i said earlier paladins are paladins man but let's not rule out also these very strong units elite janissaries with uh, 50 hit points versus 40 hit points for the arbalest but miguel well not necessarily sacrificing he lost quite a lot though if we check the kills and death ratio miguel eh, it's not a big difference yeah so he lost a significant number of paladins but he was able to help fiege uh, push back after fiege losing the castle though he was able to push back liri but liri played alone there now he has slack turning coming with these uh, elite cataphracts elite cats the elite cats not armor made uh, uh, yeah, attack ones yeah 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 like i said no uh, not the armor not the plus four not ah no no you're right man not the attack the armor is there yeah it's dumbo dumbledore anyway they are not uh, as strong as for franks uh, persians huns uh, Sp spanish paladins you know the, the fully upgraded ones you're right man is the uh, is the attack not the armor so they are lacking uh, the attack anyway now slaktan joining the party with his cataphracts able to push back in return miguel and i see fiege with bomber towers yeah bomber towers he rebuilt this castle seems to be pretty important in his opinion right it's the entry right to his economy while on the other flank though i don't think that chaos actually will be able to hold for too 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 long I mean, already Miguel and Fiege, they are trying uh, to counter the double on the other side, but it seems that Chaos in this, uh, in this flank doesn't do too well. Population for him dropping to 96, the push from Hart still continues. He has one, two, three, four castles, man. Four castles and also the elite Chukonus upgrade going also for the extra relics. Miguel, 171 population. At the pop limit, Slactarn, 
And yeah, the push now from Liri and Slactra still continues on the other side. Well, not fully. They have to also take into consideration these bombard towers. And with two traps fished uh, trying to destroy these uh, two castles. First, uh, obviously this one closer and then he'll go for the second one. Pike out with for heart. Okay, let's see the fight on the right hand side now. Nah. In the left hand side, Chaos is dead and Miguel will be forced to basically split his army in two sides and this uh, not necessarily that it's never too good but he can't you know uh, move his army or his army only in one place so he has a few units in one side a few units on the other side and we see the gg man losing this uh, yeah losing this flank on the left hand side and like that potentially uh, also losing the trade they just couldn't stay any much longer in the game uh, <laughs> kilts don't have armor yeah man oh, yeah 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 Miguel uh, not uh, started trade at all. Yeah, but even even if they started the, the trade, Chaos just couldn't hold this flank. So we have the 1-0 for Liri and his team achievements. Fast, hopefully, they will play another game. Liri with the most kills. Largest army was for heart economy. No sling in this game. Best stone and gold for Liri, while wood for heart and slagtar with the food fastest imperial age miguel 32 38 pretty strong and villagers highest slacked on 158 okay 158 so we have a z1 a zero and now they're missing a player leary uh leary oh heart just uh out oh they can play a 2v2 that would be nice that would be nice. VH Miguel versus Liri and Slacktar. Let's see. For now, let me change the score though. For people who are wondering. 104 Liri and the team. Alright. And the Chinese dudes they're playing in 43. It's a 3v3 game. But all Chinese, Yo 23k aka Jibatong, Lix Yingua aka Love Cheng, CL, don't know this guy, almost 1900 rated, and Whoop. Uh, Whoop, I know him, it's a pretty aggressive player. But let's stay here. Potentially we can see a 2v2. Come on, Miguel Fiage, take the fight against uh, Leary and Slackton. Go, go, go. Or maybe Hart has to reboot his computer or rejoin medieval whatever to come back two eggs one sausage and <laughs> bull games <laughs> 85 <laughs> it's just a it's just a title man it's just a title for the stream <laughs> ah oh squeak Still 19 plus. That's that's strong. Good job, Squeak. Good job, Steve Jobs. The fellow that pushed Apple into super high levels. Too bad he passed away. Okay. <clears throat> have to wait guys have to wait not up to us the title says says it all men are best uh, cooks man or best chefs <laughs> if you come to think about it uh, if you search you know in, in most or yeah, in most jobs for real now no no trolling best cooks are man man not not them chicks them chimps they like to to work in offices man offices why to get dirty mm, i like the sound get dirty okay they're waiting again for a third player in one of the teams so come on who is uh, who is willing to take the challenge any player here that potentially can play Rubenstock 2k come on man uh, is Nikov still around mm, yep he is 
playing in room number one of 4v4 with Tempo, Dirani, Ariad, Usain Bolt, Dench. So still with the Russian dudes, good friends. Good job, man. Good job. Ah ha ha. Shark bite. Woo ha ha. Nice, just, uh, just like the title. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy that you like it, man. I'm happy that you liked it. Uh, right. Oh, we have Pike. Long time no siege, Mr. Pike. Whoa, ho, ho. Let's see him playing some games. Coming back after like a few months away of AOC. And I agree, men are better at cooking. <laughs> Milk that squirts. <laughs> Meat man, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> squeak, squeak. Come on, man, don't be disrespectful, okay? I think this guy wants to spectate, obviously, with 1600. I don't think he wants to play, or even he, if he wants to, probably these guys won't allow him <laughs> milk that squirts. <laughs> So come on guys, come on, go, go, go. Give us games, give us games. Leave us grievous. Cookies, cookies, cookies. Uh-huh. Better. I should have known better. Right, so we have to wait for Slackdown to come back. As you guys can see, he is AFK, away from keyboard. <laughs> Give us kids. <laughs> if you want to get really weird, think about milk squirting out of an actual sausage. <laughs> I see what you did there. <laughs> ah, I kill all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pike. Pike is super determined. <laughs> Very creative idea for a dish indeed. <laughs> ah, okay. Come on, Slackdown, come back, man. I mean, even if, if you have to take a dump, how long does it take, seriously? Go, Pike, go, go, go. Now the question is, will Pike play with the Brazilian guys or he will play with Leary? What do you, what do you guys think the teams will be? If it's going to be a 3v3. Aha. Mr. Pike, Mr. Pike, 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 para Pike, 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 para Pike, 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 para Pike, come on. Play, man, play. You guys, we are here to see you play. Uh, bloody hell. I need a wireless uh, headset. Too many wires, man. Too many wires. And maybe a wireless keyboard. Uh, to get rid of off some extra wires. That would be cool. But I'm just a poor little sheep with no place to sleep. And everything is fucking expensive. Right, come on, Slackdown, come out. Chop, chop. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Time for me to eat some more cookies. Cookies! Yeah! Mm. So, squeak probably with Brazil. Okay. Okay, we'll have to wait and see if Slackdown will ever come back. Come on, man. Anything anything else interesting? LB10 versus Arai, a 1v1. You guys want to stay here or go for LB10 1v1 versus Arai versus the Turkish player? They started for 22 minutes already, so let me know. Get a 
10. Whoa. Now that's a big fish. Okay. Go Turkish kebab. <laughs> Ah, guys, come on, we have to stay. Benzema, your favorite is here, man. Nikov just joined the, the room. So potentially we'll see here a 4v4 with Nikov, Fiage, Miguel, Pike. I mean, what the fuck can you wish more for? If only Slacktan is coming back from his uh, dumpster. Come on, man. Yeah, in, indeed, Benzema, your favorite is here, man. Nikov in the house. So bloody true. You're right. But they're still missing one player. So come on, uh, Rubenstock. I mean, you can team up with Pike. Go, go, go. Go, go. Or now I see uh, MBL out of that Black Forest game. Maybe he will join the party here. That would be cool to see a lot of good players in this one. Nikov is low for this room. <laughs> He's low for this room. 21.49. Well, actually, not a, not a big difference between him and Miguel. You see 21.25, uh, 21.40, something. And to answer your question, uh, go, go to AOC Zone. If you go to AOCZone.net, by the way, on the right-hand side of the navigation, uh, you will see there Vubli top uh, top random map 1v1 players and currently Viper is number one 2489 in 1v1 I mean followed by Barry 2344 so Viper getting closer to 2500 2.5k uh, plus while in team games Benzema is not Nikov number one man Lix is leading with 21.57 rating, followed by Dogao, 21.48, Nikov, 21.42, and Miguel, 21.34. But now Nikov is 21.49, so he's number two after Lix with 21.57. He just, uh, uh, yeah, it's ahead of Dogao with one point. Dogao, 21.48. Oh, let's improve. Thank you, man, for the one viewer that you brought to my channel. I appreciate the support. Thank you, man. Kindly appreciate it. Seriously. <clears throat> yes, yes, yes. And they're playing, man. They are playing. So we have uh, Leary, Miguel, Pike, Slactar, Nico, Fie, Squeak, and Usain Bolt. Now, I don't know. I have no idea about the teams. So I'm, I think it's going to be Fie, uh, Miguel Nikov Squeak versus Leary Pike Slackton and Bold. I have a question for you who is the best three players of uh, all the time uh, in 1v1 you mean or in team games in 1v1 uh, <laughs> of all time uh, I don't well I'm not uh, <laughs> I will say, I will name three players that uh, are at the very high level in 1v1. But there are more than three players, man. Seriously. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, nowadays, Viper. That's for sure, man. In 1v1. And not only 1v1. Back in the days, uh, Coven, in the beginning of AOC, when they were developing the strategies and so on, Coven was amazing then it's pretty close between chris and doubt i liked more chris but uh, they are pretty close to each other right if jordan would have stayed around aoc then uh, jordan and viper the same level 1v1 so yeah these guys these guys <laughs> mem kappa <laughs> you saw it i love uh yeah this player gameplay yeah man sure of course can't wait to to see and again 
I make an assumption for the teams. Probably we will see, like I said, uh, Fiage, Miguel, Nikov, and Squeak versus Leary, Pike, Slagtarn, and Bolt. Jordan, Viper, Doubt, Chris, Coven. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but not necessarily in this order. Because, again, it's like in football, basketball. You, you just can't compare Pelé, for example, with Ronaldinho. I mean, it's a, it's a 30 years gap. It, it was different style back in the days. The same is with AOC. In the start of AOC, in the early years, let's say when they were coming up with strategies and trying to perfect those existing ones. Yeah, Coven was amazing. Uh, then uh, about the same time and after him, uh, like I said, Chris Doubt. And nowadays it's it's different style, more aggressive. And, and uh, yeah, Viper, if Jordan would have been around again, uh, Jordan and Viper at the same level. But going uh, to our, yes, I was right, man. So we have VH, Miguel, Nikov, Squeak versus Leary, uh, Slagtarn, Pike, and Usain yes. Bolt. This is Arabia, a green like Arabia, civilizations, Turks, Chinese, Mayans, and Teutons. Now let's see the flanks and the pockets here in the lower side of the map, lower flank. Uh, right, we have Leary with Turks, he's going to be versus Miguel with Mayans. Better Mayans, in my opinion, than, than Turks as a, as a flank. But let's see how this goes. And in the upper flank, in the north, we have Bolt with Chinese. He's going to be versus Fiage with Turks. Yeah, better, I mean better. Uh, Chinese might might be better here. So we have the pockets. Nikov with Teutons, for very strong pocket. And, uh, and uh, Squeak Chinese, two very strong pockets for Team VH, while on the other side, Pike with Teutons, also a very strong one, and we have Mayans for Slagtar. Well, this is a small difference. In my opinion, again, it's my opinion, I think, you know, that Mayans are better a, a flank than a pocket. Of course, they, they can also be strong, but let's see how this goes, right? Jordan Viper doubt Chris Coven. Jordan Viper doubt Chris Coven. Yeah, more or less, man. No. For you is who? I mean, let me know. And for for all of you guys, who do you think? Yeah, but nowadays, man, come on. You can't deny that. Viper seems to be at a different level. Like at least one step above all the others. When it's coming down, you know, to especially to strategy decisions, play. And I, I'm talking about, one more time, tournament games, not those rated games, even, even only for points, rated games. It's different than tournament games, man, when everything is on the line. In rated games, yeah, you lose points. <laughs> At their level, how many times uh, they went down from 2.4, 2.5, 2.3 to 2K, 2.1K, and then to go uh, back again as I you know uh, they do experiments also sometimes so uh, it's one thing you know normal games and another thing tournament games big difference okay let's keep an eye on this uh, on, on the top flank where VH uh, will he go for a laming well he has the scout and passing close to those deer let's see if he spotted those deer VH, VH, point of view, one boar already for Bolt inside, and he can see the deer, man, Hell, he can see the boar, what the fuck am I talking about, uh, deer, he can see the boar, but surprising enough, VH not going for the laming, what on earth is going on with Queen of Lamings, guys, what's going on with Queen of Lamings, I mean, back in the days, when he spotted a boar, Bam! Kebab! He wouldn't let that one survive. I don't know. And he's now going back. Okay. Neither player yet uh, to click up Feudal Age. It's still early, obviously. 15 population only. Let's see. Do we... Will we have some drush from some players or not? Yes. And one more time, let's look at the flanks to see the distribution of the resources. Queen of Flaming going to lose her crown. Indeed, Meatman, I mean, surprising to see that he's not into Laming anymore. 
What the hell? Did he became uh, like a green piece dude? Come on, man. Where is your aggressiveness? Go for it. Right, so uh, safe main gold now for Fiat. He has forward stone, though, both stones forward as he's facing bolt. While on the other side, bolt with forward main gold. That forest, though, for him, it's almost like a black forest going to the edge of the map. A very, very good one. While he has a stone in the back and another stone on a side and a little back ish. But the main gold with a secondary gold, yeah, it's behind the forest. Not the best placement for that gold, while on the other flank in the lower one, we have forward main gold also for Leary with forward stone. But now with palisading this area of his uh, base, he's making that stone safe. Uh, the secondary gold behind the forest, though, not the ideal one to yes. have. And more... No, it's, it's a palisade, it's a, it's a lumber camp, the second lumber camp. Okay, will he also palisade this area or will build the military buildings to have some defenses for that main gold? Well, on the other side, Miguel with a forward main gold also placed on a hill, a secondary gold not far away from uh, his main gold, stone also forward, ay, ay, ay. stone forward, ah, Miguel, not the best map uh, ever. Feudal Age for Lily, fast, yes. uh, the first one to go up, followed by Bolt. So two players from the other team while we have Drush. Uh, Fee Age drushing, two militias heading over to the yes. enemy base. Right, but that wolf helping a little bit Bolt. Yes. Yeah, already lower HP for one militia. And a villager coming now to build probably a, a barrack. Don't tell me that you want to build the barrack, but you will lose the villager. Okay, we see Bolt coming back with the scout. Do we also have a Drush on the other side? No, no, no. Yes. Yeah, we have Miguel also on the way to Feudal Age and he is creating militias on the way to Feudal Age. Uh, and give it to MBL. Yeah, well, lately MBL seems that yeah, he lamed way, way more than Fiege. I don't know, Fiege, that was in his point of view. He could clearly see that more, but didn't go for it, which uh, it's, it's a bit disappointing if you're asking me. Anyway, one villager down. Uh, Fiege also lost one militia, but he was able to take down one villager, still left with the scout there. And two militias now going to have uh, the hill advantage, but faster feudal age in return for Bolt. Okay, and what's the plan here? Building a stable. Uh, <laughs> look at Fiege. Yeah? If he couldn't lame the boar, why not to kill the Bambis? One it's down, uh, and one militia left. Now the scout for Nikov just went, uh, bites the dust. Is he scouts or archers? Okay. And the last militia for, no, one more militia left there for Fiege. Okay. And he was able to kill another yes. Bambi. Ay, ay, ay. On the way to Field Age, we have Miguel though with Man at Arms Research upgrade while the second archery range for Lily and I was right that he will build you know some military no. buildings uh, to have some better defenses for that main gold right this house uh, another will and things are done okay well soon these maritimes won't do too much because with archers skirmishes combinations then yeah he can easily I mean Lily can easily take down these maritimes okay flare 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 for fiege ah okay where he is walled do they plan a team wall now we will see may and slack arm coming in so fiege is up building stable probably blacksmith as well yeah uh, stable and blacksmith like a wall right to have uh, also more defenses for this one lumber camp while Nikov also flaring where his walls are. So they have to walk between these two forests. 27 population, VH, 32 population for Leary. Okay, and Leary able to hold. And like I said, with uh, uh, archers now coming out, then I don't think that Miguel will be able to do too much with these two men at arms. With the proper microwing, Leary shouldn't lose any of his archers. Okay, another flaring here this time, uh, most likely from Slacktar pointing, well, flaring 
the hunters of Nikov. So no. it's not a full wall yet between them. Right, okay. Uh, they're probably okay. Yes. Uh, while Pike, 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 what is Pike doing? Oh, even a second meal to eat the Bambis outside. And Pike on the way to Castle Age building a second stable. And he is Teutons. Two, four, seven farms. So seven farmers and five gold uh, miners. <laughs> Fuck your wooden computer. Team wall is strong. Yes, it is. I totally agree. If they are able to complete the team wall, uh, that is that is pretty strong. All right, all right, all right. Scouts from Bolt, Ooh, almost finding Nikov's lumber, but still going. Okay, Nikov might lose at least one villager. These scouts found the sweet spot, and three uh, scouts hitting one vill. One will eat down, and like I said, potentially, uh, well, but at least one more. So uh, a second one to go down. Good rating, man. Good rating, and another scout to join the party for Bolt. Now Nikov is flaring, right? He has some palisade walls, but the palisade is down to fight with two villagers against this eagle. And the scouts for Bolt are going right there. Only one. Uh, spear for Nikov, watch out man, well he was able to take down one scout, but now four scouts still going in, castle aging coming for Fiege, the fastest one, the first one to be on the way to castle age, ho oh, oh. will he do something with his faster castle age in return, let's see, while on the other flank we have Miguel incoming now with archers, skirmishers, to try and maintain the pressure in Libby's base with 39 population, 44 uh, Miguel, so not a big difference. We have uh, Squeak with a, a, a scout trying to help uh, uh, Nico uh, to help Miguel. So, excuse me, okay. Right, right, right. And indeed, with his scout, he's aiming for the enemy skirmishers, but that, uh, that scout was already low, low HP. Miguel has to bring more units forward, otherwise I don't think he'll be able to do too much. Anyway, Squeak is coming now with knights. How many stables? Only one stable. He has two town centers, building now a third town center. While uh, from the other team, let's see, Pike is in Castle Age and going knights as well. He's sending the knights to, uh, to, to Liri's flank to take down these annoying skirmishers. Right, Fee Age now in Castle Age, so he wasn't the fastest one. Nikov reaction is slow. Yeah, it is. He's building now another town center, so a second town center for it. But Nikov lost uh, quite a lot of uh, a lot of units. Well, three to six kills and death ratio, and we still see Bolt with three scouts raiding his base. But now with one knight he will be able to he will be able to to defend that's for sure. Anyway, let's see uh, in the other flank. Okay, another skirmisher incoming there for Miguel, but just to lose it almost completely for free. And we have Pike coming with knights. His knights no upgrades, at least not at this point. Squeaks knights uh, the same, not uh, any uh, any upgrades while splitting his knight's pike, running back with two and continuing to raid with four. Oh, oh, oh. going to Miguel's both lumber camps. Ay, ay, ay. Let's see how fast Miguel is reacting. He is reacting, but f fast yes. enough. Well, he's reacting, but let's see how fast. One villager down, a second, a third one, maybe a fourth one to go down, okay? While Squeak is now uh, sending his knights, but already Miguel losing four villagers i think three or four villagers and uh, uh oh yeah yeah and pike losing only one night one night in bangkok still not any upgrades for either knights okay now squeak is bringing more knights to the fight and lily is joining the party he's coming forward with one uh, group of skirmishers and archers and not enough archers uh, in the area for miguel now, now he's bringing more and also Miguel with the hill advantage so I think he should be able to defend anyway 
On the other side, we have VH going in with a few nice, but not too many. Oh, interesting to see Slacktown yes. with the uh, plumed arches. So he built a castle somewhere, right? He has two town centers and a third one incoming and going plumed arches. Now plumed arches can take off, can take care of the enemy uh, crossbows better, much better. Fast unit can even keep up with uh, with the knights. Well, let's see one more time. Miguel in the end forced to run away with his gold miners. Pike is still there with knights. And uh, like I said, this combination of uh, archers and skirmishers from Leary don't go close to the town center though. And this is a palisade wall for what? I don't know. We have Miguel on the way to Castle Age though. While Leary also on the way, even faster for Leary on the way to Castle Age. Difference between them. It's almost 20 seconds, or yeah, it's almost 20 seconds. Yep. Right, problems for Miguel, 47 population. He still is not the lowest in the game, uh, that's uh, bold. But Miguel, problems here in this flank. Are you planning to do some army? <laughs> Look at Squeak and Miguel having a nice com a conversation here. And yeah, Squeak is there with uh, a few knights. He has uh, bloodlines and plus one armor. Now coming in with uh, a few more, building more stables. So three town centers for Squeak. Squeak is 69, pop 70 population. He was with the magic number. So the most in the middle, it's not a big difference be between him and Slackton while on the other flank. Yeah. The raiding from VH stopped. A few camels mixed in by Bolt and able to take care of those knights while it's time for Squeak now to help Miguel getting rid of this double. Will he be able to do that? Pike's knights are uh, no bloodlines and no other upgrades. So I'm uh, a bit surprised that Squeak is not able. Come on, man. To help Miguel push them back from here. Anyway, Miguel is in Castle Age now and he has the crossbow upgrade with Botkin Arrow. Now maybe they will be able to do something more. I see a forward villager though from Leary. Probably to build there uh, a forward siege workshop. Let's wait and see. All the pros getting killed. Only Squeak stands firm indeed, man. Only Squeak stands firm. You're right. 84 population. But also Fiege. I mean... Uh, you can see right 84 85 yeah building a forward siege workshop with that villager while squeak 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 now he has plus two armor and bloodlines and pike uh, plus one uh, armor and bloodlines so stronger knights there for squeak come on and take the fight show the finish dude that you can finish him right show the dude that uh, he's finished Hello, Mr. Dude. Hello, hello. And hello, everybody else. Welcome, guys. So, yeah. Oh, we have a third player joining the party. Slackton uh, incoming to the same flank. Miguel tripled here. And he has only, well, only. He has Squeak there. But Squeak, let's see the army composition or number 18 for Squeak. Pike is with 17. So, yeah, not a big difference, man. He needs more than that. Slack turn people on the way to Imperial Age. Ay, ay, ay. 84 population for Lily, 87 for Pike, uh, 90 pretty low with resources. Slack turn 90 population and on the way to Imperial Age. Is he going now for some eagles? I see him building barracks. Probably he will research the elite eagle upgrade with Mayans. Uh, he can also research El Dorado, right? To, to make them a hundred hit points. So that's that would be like pretty uh, pretty strong bastards. Lily only 44 bills, one town center. Yes, because he was under some raiding here. But he doesn't have only one TC. He's with two town centers right now and building a third one. Indeed, he is pretty low. 91 population, but still, uh, Bolt, it's 90 population. Even lower than him. Miguel, 62, though. Three guys on him. He has Pike, Leary, and now a few, uh, a few plume archers from Slactar. And bye bye these few villagers. Poor Miguel, getting here pretty big time gang banged. Oh ho! I'm here by the way. 
you're here but he needs you to deal yes. with the enemy army dude uh, green killing my economy uh, is he yes he is okay so Nikov indeed Nikov with a few knights this is a very good counter raiding from Nikov he doesn't have too too many I lost four wins to scout fuck yeah <laughs> nice uh, conversation here between all these players they're having a great time yes. that's for sure anyway Fiege forward castle Turks man Turks forward castle on the way to Imperial Age building a monastery he has a gate gathering some knights uh, he can go Janissaries obviously to increase the pressure in Bolt's base more population for him so it's a matter of squeak keeping Nigel safe in this flank because potentially on the other flank now with Fiege on the way to Imperial Age uh, his push might be even stronger right with bombard cannons with Janissaries even he can consider to research to upgrade this into Cavaliers if he wants to we have Nikov now on the way to Imperial Age so let's see if Miguel will be able to hold 68 population for Miguel Miguel is not uh, out of the game in the terms that he is defeated or whatever but with this low number of population even the sling won't be too too strong and he is still under heavy pressure while we see Skik, uh, squeak researching out the plus two attacking upgrade right he has how many army how many knights 39 army for squeak pike is with 22 so come on man and we have elite eagles incoming from slack turn elite eagles Elite Eagles, ladies and gentlemen, but send to the enemy bases and raid their butt, man. Come yes. on. Can I kill? Of course. You can kill. I can't find my fucking gold. <laughs> Nico. <laughs> it's there, man. I mean, I would flare if I could. Uh, anyway, let's see this fight. This might be very important because Squeak is one versus three. And Squeak is destroying squeak the demolisher i will call him squeak the demolisher man he is demolishing three armies good job squeak i'm proud of you man proud of you look at this man destroying everything and 163 population okay some elite eagles incoming from slackton they are without eldorado squeak on the way to bridge but eldorado upgrade on the way for slackton these elite uh, eagles will be a uh, hundred hit points and he's sending those eagles straight to squeak's base for now squeak splitting his uh, knights into uh, well two groups three uh, some of them still taking care of the enemy forward buildings but some of them going back to take the fight against these elite eagles so let's see if squeak the destroyer the demolisher will be able to hold while fee age imperial age and the push will be stronger and stronger with bolt on the way to imperial age he is chinese let's see if he will be able to hold the ground anytime soon he might need pikes uh, he might need Pike's help, man. But, uh, whoa, look at Squeak not staying full defensive mode. A group of knights heading over to Pike's base. Pike with a market and some villages. Well, he's sending some of the villages inside the town center. But, yeah, the, the knights now for Squeak in payback bitch time mode. Good job, man. Squeak made me cry in happiness, tears. So proud. <laughs> okay but those elite eagles man they're so annoying seriously they're super they're pretty strong uh, super annoying but let's see now VH is pushing on the other side so you see the the score is switching between the two teams because uh yeah those eagles doing the doing the doing the work doing the damage basically ballistics for VH with ring archer armor elite janissaries are we don't do it and why not also some uh, bombard uh, towers because they are coming uh, in handy right while the elite eagles uh, still raiding squeaks but here we have nikov though with paladin upgrade on the way and uh, he has cavaliers and bye 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 pike uh, bye bye your tcs uh, 
Bye bye, villagers. Maybe next game you're gonna win. Woo! There you go, man. Paladin, Paladin for Nikov. And Nikov now is destroying Pike, dropping the population to 73. If Miguel had problems, wait to see Pike dropping the population like a bloody yo yo. Yes, Squeak was the MVP, man. I mean, taking the fight against three armies that was impressive. While on the other side, yeah, one cast, one defensive castle going down for Bolt. One more uh, he, for, for him to, to hold there. But nah, I, I don't think that a few camels and a few knights from Bolt will be able to handle the army for Fiege. So like I said, uh, Bolt there would have need definitely Pike's help. But Pike has his own huge problem. 70 population and still counting down. Check out Slagtown gathering his elite eagles to try and hold against the future paladins from Nico and their paladinas, baby paladinas. Ooh, and look at those elite eagles. Mode chicken. He's waiting for some pikes, but it's over, baby. It's over. Maybe next game. Maybe next game. Please don't go. Please don't go. We have Pike dying here big time and population going down more and more and more and more. 56 now Miguel with more population. This is bloody fucking amazing. GG. Call it guys already. Come on. You are in full pushback mode in both flanks actually. So yeah, Slagtown is still sending those elite eagles. Well, those are pretty nasty. Still pretty nasty to be honest right this is another town center for squeak he is doing some damage here which is pretty good uh, will he be able to uh, keep uh, pike safe pike 58 population 64 miguel let's wait and see guys i mean this game is not over until the fat lady stops singing okay bloodlines for leary with skateboarding armor imperial age for miguel so Miguel on the way to him with 63 population, are you fucking for bloody fucking fucking stupid real, seriously? Well, Pike 60 population, so yeah, definitely is still in the game, he can rebuild uh, these town centers and send his villages basically right to, uh, to farm again. But now, uh, the one with problems seems to be bold, already lost. Oh! Thank you, thank you news for the support, man. I appreciate, man. Thank you for... Yeah, kind of appreciate it. Less man. than you. three. Less than three. Thank you, man. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. How Miguel and Nico in same team because they are good pals, man. Remember that in uh, Masters of Arabia they played together, Nico and uh, uh, Nico and Miguel to lose in the grand final versus uh, Viper and NBL, but still they did an amazing tournament. So yeah, they're, they're playing together very well. Thank you for the support, man. I, uh, I highly appreciate it. So yeah, we have now big, bigger, bigger problems for Bolt. His population is way more than Pikes, but he's keep losing building after building after building, moving villagers away from the danger zone to rebuild town centers. Uh, how did they lose from a better spot? Any ideas? Uh, well, news. Thank you, man. Uh, because, I mean, because, I don't know, man. I'm not, I'm not a pro. If I was a pro, if I was an expert, then you would see me playing. I think, you know, the X factor here was basically Squeak, that uh, single-handedly he was able to kill three armies. Oh, MBL hosting my stream with 112 viewers. Thank you, Mr. MBL, for the amazing support. Thank you, man. I, I really appreciate it. You're a really funny, man. Thank you, news. <laughs> I'm just cuckoo. <laughs> Whenever is something exciting here and I have reasons, I yes. go cuckoo mode, singing and so on. This is my style, man. For, I mean, forever, since forever. <laughs> uh, hello, hello, everybody. Righty, right. So, Mr. MBL, also thank you for the great support, man. Kind of appreciate it. Right, let's see. Is Fie still pushing here? Because at one point I saw him help. Oh, because of the nasty uh, elite eagles. So, who is there to help Fiege? Maybe Nikov with his Paladinas Infernayes? Uh, Simeon Florin, oh, 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 one fellow uh, countryman following. Thank you for the support, dude. 
highly appreciated as well. Elite Prune Archer for Miguel and I see Nikov coming back with this big group of Paladins uh, to deal with the annoying Eagles. So the Eagles still, man, they can do some big, big damage. But the push on that flank, on the left, for, left flank from Fiat still continues. And how to stop that one? I mean, Pike is in rebuilding mode, still not fully rebuilt. 74 population. Bolt was able to run back with some villages and build more town centers, which is pretty good uh, a choice. Uh, X Metal X, thank you for the follow as well. Thank you for the support. Kindly appreciated. They did good choice. VH tanking blue. Nick of you, uh, yeah, rushing Pike. True man. And squeak massing. Nice to stop push. True, true, true. Really good choices. I, I agree. I agree. I mean, uh, and uh, and Lily w was also going uh, to counter Miguel when he was under double at some point. He thought that Miguel will be in problems, right? Be under double and uh, under triple at some point. And actually, they were. But uh, Lily wasn't like uh, fully, fully, uh, uh, you know, boomed. Only now in the end we see him with uh, yeah, good population, 173, so basically fully boomed, but nah, I, I don't think they will be able to hold now any much longer in this corner. Now Nikov getting rid of those elite eagles, he's coming back with paladins to help VH continuing the push. And let's see, where is VH? Yeah, villagers uh, here to build more and more bomber towers. And you are really funny man <laughs> mr dude with this bot is not working man i i will consider to uh, uh to add another bot right i mean to switch the bot so that mods you guys you yes. i mean you the mods be able to add commands but with this bot that i'm using now ank bot it's not working sorry sorry man <laughs> uh, i will i will change it at some point anyway Push still continues, now Fiege going back a little bit, but this castle will go down. These are elite plumed archers from Slagtarn, which are pretty strong to be honest. 65 hit points, 50 hit points only for the elite Jennies. So is he pushing also on the left hand side? Actually, I think Fiege would have had better chances if uh, they would have pushed uh, from here, from this side. But the GG incoming, man. Like I said, they couldn't hold any much longer. So good play. For Team Brazil, Squeak and Nikov. Good play, man. Good play. Uh, Miguel also holding against three at one point. But Squeak, yeah, did, did the job. He was able to mass enough army to, to handle the three armies from the enemy. And also VH pushing their bolt more and more. And then Nikov, the final blow to raid Pike, which Pike was helping uh, with this push in Miguel's flank big time. That was the last blow, man. Uh, oh, hello, Mackies. Uh, Clam Bjorn, thank you for the follow as well, man. Thank you for the news, guys. Uh, the news is here. <laughs> yeah, well, he's, he loves AOC, man, which is great. Right, fast achievements. Hopefully, we'll have another game. The most kills those slacked on. You see the power of uh, the Eagles and also largest army for him. Let's see the sling though. VH uh, giving almost 6,000 resources and also squeak over 1.3 thousand. All to Miguel receiving almost 8,000 resources. Now, best wood for slack turn. Uh, Nikov with the best food. Bolt with the best stone. And gold was for VH while the trade was just barely started. Uh, Nikov 511. Technology fasted Imperial. Woo, Slackdown under 30. 2950. Good job, man. And Bridges highest 149 from Fee Agent 48 for Squeak. Good play, man. I, I told you guys that Squeak, uh, really, no trolling. He's, he's a pretty strong player. Seriously. He is. Aha. Kramecht. Thank you for the follow as well, man. Highly appreciated, guys. Highly appreciated all the support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we have the 1-0, or it was Liri plus team, but uh, in a 3v3. So now VH and his team winning this one to make the score 1-1. Ha, ha, ha. You play more. Come on, man. Uh... If you win like you speak, you will you will win 1,000 wins, zero losers. <laughs> Please kick specs. I want to go there. 
can't carry Miguel again. Too tiring. <laughs> you play more. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Fiege in the house. What the hell, man? Long time no siege, dude. And victorious. Haven't seen you in ages, man. Oh, you say my name so clearly. Uh, yeah. Shouldn't, shouldn't I say the name so clearly? Thank you for the support, man. I mean, I'm not a native English speaker, all right, but I'm trying, right? If I get it wrong, it's not, uh, you know, like on purpose by any means. I don't mean any disrespect. So <laughs> I'm just, uh, I, I'm just trying. That's, that's the bottom line. So yeah, let's see another game. Give us another game. Oh, no way, man. Nearly in the house as well. What the hell is going on uh, in this chat already, man? I mean, in the channel already. Nearly in the house. And Mr. Fiege, ho oh, ho, thank you for the follow, Mr. Fiege. Thank you for the great support. I appreciate, man. Who is half German, half Turkish? Nearly, nearly, nearly. <laughs> I mean, you, I mean, you pronounce it well. Well, I'm, I'm happy that I didn't. Uh, I pronounce it well. At least he's <laughs> nearly in the house. Okay, so come on, guys, play one more, Mr. Fiege. So nice to see you. But now that you are here, tell me why no more laming. I mean, I was specifically, you know, watching your scout because I was 99% that you will lame. And I was in your point of view, you could clearly see the second board of bold, the, the blue player, but you didn't go for the lame. Like, what the fuck is going on, man? I'm expecting every time I see you playing, like, go, 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 lame, lame, lame. What? Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, half is also German, though. <laughs> I've changed. Why? Why, VH? Why you changed? This German, best German. <laughs> Russian accent. Oh, my. So many, uh, so many viewers here. <laughs> I feel spoiled, guys. Right, you're right. So one more time, Slackdown has to go and drop the nuke. He has to take a big dump like uh, it, it happened before this game. I see him AFK. So yeah, he needs. The pressure was super high. So that's why. Oh, who left? Miguel left. Why? Why? No. Miguel. Miguel. He is in 114. Oh, 114. Okay. The Max Miguel Pike Zupi Rubenstol. Let's go there, guys. Let's go. Or pop in a nook. Or pop in a nook. Go, 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 go. 114. Here I come. Here I, here I, here I come. I'm singing in the rain. And let me display it. Now the room. Because I'm singing in the rain. Ah, love you too, my man. Too much hate on me when I lame. Uh, I don't like negativity. No, man, that was the best part. I mean, I was specifically waiting for that one. Please, in this new game, just lame. I want to go with the wee, wee. I visited Bucharest two weeks ago. It was a really cool city. I liked it a lot. Russian accent. Well, for tourism, this is a pretty nice country. Seriously, Russian accent. Uh, not only here in Bucharest. You have quite a lot to see. A lot of history and so on. Uh, some nice cities and so on but i'm talking about uh mentality politics and you know we have mountains seas. i mean as a country it's a pretty nice one if you come here by uh, as a tourist uh, that's great man and if you come with uh, some some extra cash you you can feel like a king here it's it's a pretty low life compared to the uh, western uh, europe countries seriously uh, you can see a lot of gypsies. Well, yeah, Mackies, but I don't think only here in, in Romania you can see a lot of them. Unfortunately, yeah, they are. They are. And I'm talking unfortunately because, you know, their character is just super low. Again, not not trying to go into negative modes. It's a fact, man. It's a fact. 
because of them, because of them, seriously, uh, if, if not only me, me, I'm honest, right? I mean, I'm not going when, whenever I go uh, to a foreign country, whatever, to, to visit, to, to, to travel, I, I'm not there to steal, to beg or whatever. But uh, people just because of them, you know, when they hear Romanians, ooh, stay away, gypsies. Seriously, I mean, it's my fault. It's my fault. But you know what's funny? Seriously, you know what's funny? Uh, when they are when they are outside and people, you know, ask them, well, what I they don't say we are gypsies. No, we are Romanians. But here, if you ask them, no, we are not Romanians. We are gypsies. I mean, they're, they're fucking proud, but outside, no, 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 they're Romanians. Uh, VH plus team versus Nokia and team. Uh, Spain has more gypsies. Well, Simeon, eh, you know, because you're also Romanian. I mean, it's, it's, it's my fault, it's our fault that uh, they uh, got a bad name for all, all of us. Miguel is good. Yeah, it's very good. It's super strong. Seriously, in team games, uh, not only in team games, he's very, very strong. So we have Winland versus... Uh, no, no, no. The max will be with Pike, Zupi, and... Whoa, who else? And Rubenstock, okay? So let me change now. We have VH plus team. Let's keep it this way, though. Score, I'm going for 0-0. Zero, zero. Okay. And for the other guys, for the other guys, per to name, let's go Winland. Winland. And of course, we have to change the flag for Winland. There you go. I'd say shots fired, but I think that's a sore subject. Yeah. <laughs> Nokia team. Nice one. <laughs> Well, yeah, not only from not only from them, but you know that they do play a lot uh, together. They practice a lot together, and they're they're good, man. So many good Brazilian players. They are, in my opinion, one of the favorites for Nations Cup tournament. I mean, you have Dogao, Fiage, Miguel, Fire, Riot. If uh, hopefully he can play for Brazil, so. Strong teams, man. But I think Brazil has two teams. And I think Fiji is actually in Brazil B. Which I'm a little bit sad, man. Seriously. <laughs> we have terrorists and gypsies and Syrians. That's so magic. Well, you, you guys know that when you, whenever you talk politics or religion, you won't agree 100% between, between you guys. That's a fact, man. Seriously, that's a fact. But you can talk. I mean, it's free. If you enjoy to talk about that topic, just go for it. Instead of going, you know, for like, uh, for example, have you guys seen a hot chick or whatever? It's, it's a better subject in my opinion, right? And uh, I said yesterday for whoever wasn't here, I have seen uh, in this weekend two movies actually. You know, the, the last Wonder Woman and Baywatch, both a big, big disappointment. So if you want to save the cash, just download the movies or whatever. But don't waste your time and money to, to sit in theater. I was just hoping with Baywatch that I will see more action and more jumping jacks on the beach. Especially from Alexandra D'Addario, which is super hot. One of those chicks that I would bang any day, any night for as long as I can. Uh, what your stream title is on point almost missed it <laughs> the girl is in brazil b also stark and goku ah but uh vh is where uh wonder woman is shit i i totally agree has so magic and wonder woman was also pretty shit you know i mean i don't have anything with with them chicks seriously but when you push them to the level like they are super fucking duper strong like <laughs> dude at least pick you know some chicks that they know how to move in combat and so on but when you see a chick that is only good for fuck and you make out of that chick a super duper uh, fighter and so on like come on man cut the crap i know that you guys 
you know, are with the equality bullshit and so on, but make it believable, man. At least just take them to one, uh, you know, a few lessons, like how to move, how to, you know, punch, kick and so on. Not displaying some nice tits on, on screen and then just paint them as super fucking warriors, man. That's, that's bullshit. Uh, has nothing with no victorious uh, I have nothing with them I mean nothing against them I want to have uh, something in them right but uh, no not nothing against them Wonder Woman is hot yes Simeon Florin uh, I'm not saying that she's not hot man I would bang that uh, you know Jupacabra any day any night that's for sure man uh, chicks talk all the time boring underwear well then this uh, I don't know <laughs> if you don't enjoy it just don't talk or watch something else man uh, she was well trained for a movie maybe just bad cinema editing uh, how we like you <laughs> victorious <laughs> by the way mr victorious your recovery uh, is going super well right i mean i hope that it's going super well you have to be a, a Jew or you can't bank her. Oh my God. I joined Katsuni Twitch and talk of tits and Asa. <laughs> you you know, no, Hasso Magic. I didn't know, but who said that? Who said that, man? Come on. I have to be a Jupacabra to, to bank uh, 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 another Jupacabra? I didn't know that. That's sad, man. Even though one can only dream, right? One can only dream. I'm old and when I was young, I had a huge crush on Linda Carter. Yeah, well, uh, back in the days, you know, they don't have those surgeries and so on. I mean, back in the days, those were just natural beauties, man. It's still going better than expected according to the experts, but so slow. Uh, she's a, I know, she's, she's a jupacabra. I know, jupacabra. Anyway, uh, sorry guys, sorry, we have VH. On the left hand side, he is flanked by the looks Byzantines, VH versus Pike with Spanish. Oh, oh, oh. And on the right hand side, now we have Leary with Spanish. He is versus the Max with, with, with Mongols. Max is Max. Na, 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 na. Pa, da, da, pa, pa, Max. Na, 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 na. Woo! Na, 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 na. Uh, wish there was a better caster online. Well, like I said, man, nobody is forcing you to stay here. And actually, it is. Miguel is streaming, so go to his channel, show your love to him. I don't know if he's also, you know, uh, talking his, uh, uh, you know, plays and so on. Uh, and I never said that I'm a good caster or whatever. This is me. If you don't enjoy, no problem go to another channel another caster that you enjoy but uh, it's in my opinion it's just pointless to be in one channel just to say i don't like him just go away man it's no problem with me at all just go away man <laughs> nah, let let the guy talk man let the guy talk seriously i don't mind he can even you know curse or whatever say that i'm whatever he means it's this is what he thinks this is his opinion but i don't get it if i don't enjoy to watch something then i just stop watching it i go to some some place else that's that's the thing like what's the point on of being here to talk bad say that i don't like you then why you're here man <laughs> no man that's that's fine that's fine totally fine you see victorious he's on his own spot man i'm ugly underwear doesn't okay oh we have max losing a veal bringing the the second board to the town center ay 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 maxi maxi you see even guys even for uh high rated players these guys sometimes they they also do it's not necessarily a mistake because you know it happened to me not too often but it happened that villager uh, stops for like one second two seconds just enough for the boar to to give another hit and kill that one uh, that last villager but still i don't see any laming from fee are you for real man 
Are you for real? Instead, maybe Pike lamed a boar? Yeah. And you see, guys, looking at the chat, I missed the wee, wee, Pike laming a boar to Fee. So you see, Fee, you were saying in, my, in the chat here that uh, you don't like people to hate you, complain that you're laming, and you got lamed, man. You got lamed. <laughs> Liverpool, good for him, man. Good for him. I'm not, uh, you know, jealous of whoever bangs that hot chick. Good for him, man. But like I said, one can only dream, right? Katsuni, I have depression. What to do? Uh, just, uh, uh, you know, bring some hookers, man, to, to your place. So, or one, uh, you know, pay. It's easier and uh, it's cheaper than having a girlfriend. If you, if you think in long term, just paying for one hooker to come to your place and feel good, have a great time, do whatever you want to do, it's cheaper than having a girlfriend that constantly asks, 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 and more asks. They are like bloody vampires, man. Sucking your pocket dry. Ah, Terror, can you invite her to AOC Arena 1v1? Great, man. Great. Great, great, great. Okay, so first one to click up Feudal Age, Max. Even though he lost a villager. Maxi, maxi, max, but I failed to look at all the civilization. Mongols, Mayans, Byzantines, and Spanish. You guys are some awesome influence, you see. How much uh, hooker cost in, in Romania? They, they're cheap, man. They're cheap. This is a cheap life here. For one pack of cigarettes. Uh, yeah, so they're cheap, man. Even with a, with one packet of cigarettes, uh, you can uh, be still like a blowjob from them. I mean, it's, it's pretty cheap. If you come here from outside with some cash, you can feel like a like a bloody king here. They're cheap, man. They're cheap, you know. I think it's more expensive for you guys outside to smoke uh, every day than just uh, take a hooker here. They are cheap and they are the best quality. Well, Simeon, I don't know if they are the best quality, but hey, for, you know, like uh, one hour, two hour uh, good time. Yeah, man, that's that's worth it, man. Are the hookers beautiful? Uh, Raiden, I like booties. Who doesn't like booties, man? Who doesn't like booties? Of course. You know, I mean, we men, uh, how we are? When you meet a chick, uh, you like her personality first. Bloody hell, no. I mean, aesthetics also, well, also matters a lot. If she has like a, a you know, naughty butt and if she has big boobs, then that's a bonus. That's for sure. I try to come to Romania after I start earning. Good for you, man. If you come, like I said, to, to visit, you, you'll find it beautiful. And yeah, good uh, good life for the foreigners. Anyway, going back to our game, you guys can keep talking. I mean, you have Simeon that uh, uh, is also Romanian and can answer some of your questions. If you are asking about this country or some destinations and so on, I don't know them all, obviously. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, you can come, man. You can put your dick in person. <laughs> <laughs> okay, double beat axe for Fiege and Fiege in some defensive play. Pike with mana trumps. Oh, and he was able to break this palisade, and that villager is on the run. Fiege with some problems. He's the lowest population in the game. 28 now with one villager mining gold, but that vill is bye bye. Archer and mana trumps to take down the last gold miner. So, definitely big problems. For Fiege, on the left hand side we have Pike playing very aggressive, which is great. Which is great, man. Aha! Uh -huh -huh. What to do after sex? Well, I don't know, man. Uh, eat some ice cream, see some porn movies, and maybe in half an hour you'll be uh, able to to back in the game. Whatever you you feel like, or if you're too exhausted, uh, I don't know, to to cuddle your kitty cat. 
and again in half an hour maybe you are uh, uh, up to uh, up for round two uh yep hola hola mr horshi hola hola chicos and gringas como estas hombre como estas Okay, in the end we see Fiege able to hold but barely, I mean heavy casualties for him, even so 35 population and it seems that uh, uh, Hart uh, here with low pop 30 population only like, why? Why? Seriously, only 30 population and he is not... Uh, he's not... Uh, ah, he's on the way to Castle Age. Okay, I found out. So the first one to be on the way to Castle Age Heart followed by Miguel, Rubenstock and Zupi. Zupinio. What to do if you have small little penis, Raiden? You know, you can uh, you, you can uh, buy a dildo uh, to use it, not, not on you, of course, to, to learn how to use it on the cheek. You have uh, tongue, you have feet, you have fingers. I mean, be creative, man. Yeah, it's it, it's a minus if you have a, a, a little, a very little one. I, I totally agree. But you can somehow compensate, you know, by being playful, if you know what I mean, right? Okay. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. I'm... Uh, well, I'm streaming again, as you can see. Anyway, let's follow the game a little bit, shall we? Max with some raiding. One spear and one scout. But let's see. Uh, castle, castle for who is for Hart? For Rubenstock? Okay, for Miguel and Fiege not yet. Yeah, Fiege with problems, definitely. While Pike seems to be in a pretty good spot. Army-wise, Pike is with 15. I have seen him, yeah, 15, while VH is with uh, 12, 13, okay? Not a big video, but still, it is some difference. Now Miguel with Knights to double with uh, with VH uh, into Pike. Pike, fletching upgrade for him. What language do everyone speak in Romania? Romanian, man. It's Romanian language. And you might think that uh, it's a Slavic language. It's not, it's not similar to Bulgarian, to Polish or to Serbian or Russian language. No, it's Latin language. Actually, some words are very similar to Italian ones, Spanish ones. Uh, seriously, it's, it's Latin language, not uh, one. Uh, can you show us uh, Alt-G so I know which side teams are? Yeah, I man, if you want, I can do that, sure. If you prefer like that, I can go like that, no problemo. Right, so we have uh, here Pike. Oh, Pike is no, it's Ruben Stock with. But for me, it's confusing because I don't see the players. When I look here, I see, for example, Ruben Stock with one color, and here uh, I'm I'm a bit confused. Like uh, who has the knights? Who has uh, another type of army? You know, it's Latin language, man. South is Liri team. Yeah. I want normal colors back, please. Yeah, me too, man. I mean, no offense, but I got used like this. I want to know, for example, yeah, now I know this is Rubenstock uh, and this is Pike. It, it's easier uh, to differentiate. I don't know how, how it's better to, to put it. Anyway, on the other side, on the other side, oh, the Max still uh, staying nasty, raiding here Hart, but Hart has already a castle up placed on that hill. And like that, he has defenses for an extra stone and an extra gold. But even so, Max able to kill a villager and his scout remained with only one, uh, no, with two hit points. So one villager, pfft, one fart, and that scout is just down. Wheelbarrow for Miguel, both of the second would upgrade for both Liri and the Max. While well, let's see, I see only one uh, unit there for the Max, so nothing too significant. Uh, VH still in feudal age, man. Uh, uh, VH and Pike. So we have the max 39 population castle age. We have yes. Pike with 58 population low, uh, as you can see, low resources, wood and gold. It's, it's decent, but still pretty low. Heart in castle age with 50 population, right? 
44 population for Ruben Stock and 50 population for Miguel uh, 3TCs, right? 44 population for Liri. He just built another town center and Fee Age on the way to Castle Age with 57 population. Now with Fee Age, uh, when he will be in Castle Age with stronger army, now the double might be much stronger. And we have uh, the Mayans guys fighting each other. Yeah, Zupi versus Hart, which is stronger. 54 population for Hart, 65 for Zupi. Suomi. <laughs> yeah, man. Suomi, Suomi, Suomi. Yep, put it back. I just want to see where they are located. Where? You, you can see it. Clearly. Siri, uh, you, you like war with uh, just red and uh, yellow colors? I don't like that way, man seriously i like to see you know different colors to know okay this is vh one more time this is miguel and here oh fast going there i see a uh, heart uh, i mean uh, otherwise i have to constantly click and to see which uh, army is belonging to who uh, if that makes sense I, I think it does right right we have now wheelbarrow for both zupi and rubenstock castle age on the way for fish like i said and hand card for miguel and uh, both uh, well, it's it's both doubles from team fee age uh, into the other guys uh, here on the right hand side we have heart along with leary yes. pushing or trying to push in max right while on the left hand side we have fee age and uh, miguel trying to push here in pike's base and pike i don't see him now okay finally now he's on the way to castle age but the difference between them whoa it's almost two minutes no it's over two minutes time for fee age and i see miguel decided to go in with his knights even though close to the town center these knights are with bloodlines and plus one armor not the plus two but even like that forcing here pike to build more houses to protect his gold miners righty right and fish researching crossbow botkin arrow uh, he has some raiding in his base okay ruben stock with uh, a couple of knights one now left i think he had two anyway building another town center right now and another one no two town centers for him only two town centers at this point while uh, here we have uh, uh, team brazil and the other guys okay destroying the palisade but still not going in two stables for the max with two town centers yeah two town centers only max population 61 56 for pike 56 that's quite low anyway is he coming okay they're flooding where to uh, where to meet uh, with their armies probably i'm thinking two stables as well for miguel so 67 population for vh 97 population for zupi whoa castle and three town centers okay creating <clears throat> creating more plumed arches and the plumed arches heading over to Liri's base Liri is walled yeah not a full uh, like a stone wall but still palisade walls so if he's paying attention he can see or know that uh, uh, when the enemy is trying to break through if it's the case obviously anyway we see uh, zupi will will he go back no no, 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 yes, no, yes, yes, he's going back. Okay, probably Max uh, just flared both armies, waiting not uh, too far away from his base. So he's returning back now. We have fights with Plumed Arches, Hart versus Zupi. But we have Liri with uh, his group of knights trying to help Hart dealing with these Plumed Arches. And they are Zupi on the way to Imperial Age. Ho, ho, ho! Zupi on the way to Imperial Age. Now, let's see if he can do something with his fast Imperial Age while on the other side. Pike, Pike building another town center outside of his walls. While Rubenstock knights with plus one uh, armor, right? While Miguel has bloodlines and plus two armor, but not as many in the number. Anyway, Pike also with... Uh, with a castle there okay that town center is way way in the back while on the right hand side breaking through the house and denying the gold here for pike now pike lucky for him that he has this castle to offer some uh, more protection but uh, his gold it's uh, it's eh, it's out of uh, the range of the castle so no protection anyway 
this fight might be important. Let's see, they're taking the fight. Not super strong units, therefore Pike and also, I mean, super strong, except these Conquistadors, which they are. Uh, not too many, and now Miguel is bringing some more knights into the fight. But I think Rubenstock had more knights to help Pike, and probably he is able to, to hold. Yep, he's able to hold. Good job, man. Good job. Oh, another flaring here. Oh, just in time. Max rebuilding the houses to deny uh, Lily going through. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, just in time. That house is down. No, he's not going down. Whoa. Imperial Age for Zupi, like I said, followed by Heart. And Max is coming back with one group of knights. Now we have Heart incoming also with some more Prune Darches. Obviously, to kill those villagers that are building or repairing. This house is like a wall. Oh! It's the Max running away with the relic. Is the Max running away with the relic? Go, 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 go. Yes. <clears throat> Safe zone for the holy crap. Touching ground. Good job. Good job. Now a few more crossbows from Fiage and a few more knights also from Miguel. But I do feel that they will be able to push them back completely. Now Lily on the way to Imperial Age. So let's see. What is <clears throat> what is Zupi planning to do? Uh, the Elite Eagle Warrior and 246 Barracks. So he will go with Elite Eagles to raid the enemy economies. Spanish guy doing archers indeed, man. I mean, he's not the best, but he didn't have that castle, you know, built super fast. Now that he does, obviously he will go more and more conquistadors, as you can see. So that's pretty good. And the big flare with a big fight here. Okay, Zupi waiting with his elite. They are elite? No, not, a, not yet elite conscription. So they are only plumed archers. While Liri with the knights denying Zupi to run away. But here comes the hot stepper. Pull around. Yeah, the elite eagles incoming now for, uh, from Zupi. And Maxi is joining the party with his knights. Bloodlines and plus two armor. So, which is stronger? They are, they are not taking the fight. Both Hart and Leary running back to their bases. <laughs> mode. Chicken mode. Leary team, way more villagers. Elite Eagles. Uh, that worked well the last time. Well, it is a pretty good unit, man. Uh, the other guys were just surprised. Like I said, Nikov doing a good job in the previous game, raiding uh, Pike's base, economy, right? Also, VH pushing uh, Bolt, that you say in Bolt, guys. So, uh, Leary was the one, right, with, uh, <coughs> with Elite Eagles uh, in the previous game. He did good. You could see him with the most kills, with the largest army. Yeah, so he did his part, but the other guys were, were just unable to, to hold the ground. Okay, again, going back, we see uh, Miguel uh, sending villagers to build a castle. Okay, he wants that extra gold, probably. Did they start the trade or not? No, I don't see markets. No, 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 not yet. Now, VH will build here a wall, probably, and will drop some markets to start the trade. Not yet, that villager is going back completely, while uh, Pike, no, Pike is uh, Zupi in full raiding mode. You see, man, full raiding mode. But we have now Heart with Elite Plumed Archer upgrade on the way. And Elite Plumed Archers are very good counter for the Elite Eagles. The Elite Eagles, they are with Eldorado. Eldorado's Elite Eagles and Raiding Time. Raiding Time! Zupi Raiding Heart. Okay, like I said, Heart will be able to hold. But for now, he is kind of living alone. Lily, but I think Lily has enough army uh, to stop the Elite Eagles invasion. Now we have Max though on the way to Imperial Age husbandry. So with Mongols he can even research those uh, cavaliers and building a castle. Probably he's thinking to, to mix some Elite Mango Dice. We have Elite Mango Dice almost finished for Miguel. So they will uh, increase the pressure here. Check out VH constantly sending crossbows there uh, to keep the enemy busy basically. So Elite Mango Dice from Miguel and more obviously to to follow Rubenstock with knights. Right, for now they are able to hold because only a few units, but soon I don't think they will be able to. And Leary 
is with Paladin Abrid on the way. He has them Cavaliers and he is chasing the Elite Eagles. No, not yet. The Elite Eagles from Zupi going. Oh! To try and deny that castle, but no, I, I think even though he will lose a few villagers, Hart will be able to finish that castle. Paladin by Leary, indeed, man. Paladin's upgrade by Leary and the Elite Eagles trying to take down the castle, but here comes the future Paladins. Okay, time uh, to run and find some place else to hit Ooh, breaking through or advancing even more with another castle and a siege workshop for miguel but he doesn't have too many mango dice, elite mango dice. but i see zupi changed his mind and he's sending those elite eagles probably to uh, to stay double with the max because they know that uh, the max soon will be under double anytime soon so elite plume archers with uh, no not elite excuse me uh, zupi didn't research only elite eagles with max 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 thumbling chemistry for him so he didn't research the cavalier upgrade he has only them knights and now paladins for leary he will be able to destroy there everything and Miguel advancing now with uh, elite mango dice more and more paladin upgrade also on the way for Rubenstock the Byzantines though he will lack the attacking the last attacking upgrade so with the proper uh, hit and run micro in here Miguel will be able to push even more uh, into both Rubenstock and Pike and if also VH is joining the party for now uh, not completely he is sending uh, you know some Kusars still Miguel but where is VH? VH VH building another castle conscription leather archer armor okay with Byzantines what he's planning to go for cap ramps for now uh, let's see the push on the right hand side though still continues and I don't think that uh, uh, only elite mango dice and uh, eagles will be will be enough to hold against the paladins maybe uh, maybe max will be forced to mix in some camels uh, let's see let's see anyway we have heart yeah heart is with uh, it's with elite from darches if he's going uh, in it's a full wall not a full wall here for zupi and gg man yeah they, they just couldn't hold in any much i mean on the other flank we could see that it was super difficult for uh team winland to hold against the paladins from leary and also the elite from darches there from heart so pretty good combination right not easy to de to deal with and miguel was already with elite mango dice and pressuring in uh, both uh, pike and rubenstock bases so we have the one zero for team fiage strong play man miguel has ferrari soon winland eight in shape actually they they did play pretty strong man seriously miguel with the most kills this time and largest army was for heart 107 economy some sling zupi sending over 2000 to max to keep him in the game miguel with best food and wood stone was for heart oh and miguel also with the best gold so pretty strong boom here for miguel and the fastest imperial age zupi under 31 30 36 okay society villagers highest miguel 136 vh is coming back i'm i'm happy to hear man gg indeed so 104 ah vh and the team let's change the score and wait for another game okay so you guys were saying <laughs> ah yeah you guys were talking about old g old g that you want to see with the, with the yellow and so on but i'm not used with that combination to be honest and VH came back well he's waiting he's in spectator mode so come on man max miguel zupi hart Leary, rubenstock two players missing now who VH one and the other one ah it's zupi okay zupi left the building as well uh no 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 it's pike excuse me pike 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 so pike and VH missing oh come on is just left come on come back come back ah uh, gonna lunch ay 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 
So I don't think that is going to be another game anytime soon here. But let's wait and see. Let's wait and see. Hopefully, Winland will find some other teams to play against. In the meantime, let me check for some other games potentially. If there is something interesting on the horizon. Uh, the Chinese guy is not anymore online. Well, for them, it's close to midnight. Makes sense, obviously. While, 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 while. Some 1v1s. Some 1v1s. Nope. So we have to stick with them here. Sorry, guys, but this is... I mean, it is what it is. Have to wait. Anyway, Miguel is still in the, in the room. So he's up for more games. Great. And I see Monos. <clears throat> Monosito. Upped himself. Okay, they can play a 3v3. Winland versus uh, Miguel... Uh, Leary and Monos. Oh, now Slacker and join the party, so it's going to be a 4v4. <clears throat> They're gonna need another another player, but it's not free agent team anymore. I will change it into Miguel plus team. <laughs> Whatever. Nikov, is he still around? Yes. He is in spectator mode. Come on, man. Nikov, viewers want to see you play. Viewers want to see you play. <clears throat> By the way, haven't checked AOC zone. Did they uh, announce when Nations Cup will start? Let me try and find out myself. But tomorrow is going to be the last day for sign-ups, right? <laughs> Participate in Nations. Okay. Yeah, so I, I think that uh, either this weekend or... Uh, Monday next week group stage golden league silver league qualification stage oh it's, it's going to be a qualification stage bracket interesting seed 1 seed 64 it seems to be pretty complicated but have to wait and see nations cup Mm -hmm. Rules and settings. Uh, map, map, map. Okay, qualification stage. Do they say when when it's starting? Because I don't see it anywhere. I'm trying to find out. That's why I'm talking to myself a little bit. Anyway, it's going to be pretty soon. That's for sure, man. Like I said, either this weekend or uh, next week. From Monday. From Monday. From Monday and, and on and on. Official streaming rules. Whoa, a lot of streamers. That's great, man. More streamers, more coverage. So people will have, uh, you know, the option to choose who to watch. That's great. That's great. Leave it free, man. Leave it free. Okay. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, Dr. Jones. So, what's up, guys? Anything new? Any interesting uh, story or whatever? Come on. Feedback, feedback. Go, go, go. Miguel with the Ferraris. Well, he was with the Ferraris on the way. But these guys uh, felt and knew that they are losing both flanks. So the trade would have been going well. And one more time. They needed another type of army to deal with uh, the Paladins and uh, the Elite Punt Archers combination. I'm thinking about the stream title. <laughs> Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're referring to dick balls and sperm? Oh my god. Seriously? You need translation, please? <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
it's not it's not me referring you know it's it's uh, it's something like automatically makes re refer to that man <laughs> this is by leary okay uh, <clears throat> zoop is asking shall we go but now another player just went crashy come on guys are you just unable to to have another player and go for a 4v4 Flix needs a visual aid. <laughs> yeah, they're still missing a player. Come on, man. I want to I want to stream one more and then call it a night, a day, whatever, a morning or an afternoon, depend wherever you are, guys. I'm tired after work, brain is turned off. <laughs> Yeah, well, work is work, man. Respect, I mean, I know. Uh, may I ask, what are you working? What what uh, area of expertise or what what are you working, basically? Of course, if you can say, if you are a, a, a spy or working in a secret organization, I understand that you cannot talk about it. Just asking a simple question. So they're still missing one player. Who was there that left? Arai left, now entered again. Left, entered. Zupi, Miguel, Slacktron, the Max, Lady Monos, and Ruben Stock. So yeah, we have Winland. While in the other side, Miguel, Max, Leary, uh, and Ruben Stock. So Monos. No, no, no. It's Zupi, Slacktron, The Max, and Rubenstock. Okay, so these are four guys and Monos, uh, Leary, Miguel, and they need uh, they need a fourth player. Well, FedEx is here. Actually, yeah. Why FedEx isn't coming up to play? <coughs> yeah, he's in spectators. Soy Argentino. Es un sentimiento. I know, man. No puedo parar. Landscaping, woodwork, lumberjack, whatever needs to be done, really. Whoa. Hello, Vintage, and hello, everybody else watching the stream. Hello, guys. Welcome. Uh, I forward uh, as pocket. Okay. So they still need one more player. Come on, guys. Come on, come on best streamer ever no man i'm not the best streamer yeah seriously i mean not not uh it's not it's not that it's not worth to to, to talk about it uh, you you guys see me as a good streamer i i just don't and seriously this is not like modesty or or, or whatever but they there are much better streamers than than me that's a fact I, i'm just trying though i'm trying my best and just uh, trying to put a smile on everybody's face Oh, 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 super boa <laughs> and mala madre. <laughs> God, this title. <laughs> you like it, boa, right? <clears throat> Purple Magic Johnson. Whoa, yeah, man. Nice to see boa still, uh, you know, kicking once in a while. Nice to see you, man. Hope everything is fine with you. Yes, he's alive. When the next game starts, sir, well, Chulingar, no idea. They're waiting for another player. So one more time, it's not up to me or any other streamer. It's up to the players. They're waiting for one more. There are seven out of eight, a lot of spectators, but only seven players. So they want to play a 4v4. Unless one of uh, the same uh, level, you know, high rated player, 18 plus 2K in that area is joining. They're waiting for one. <clears throat> Resident Evil. <laughs> I'm not the best man. Hello, 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 everybody. Hello. Nice to see you all guys here. And to have a great time. Oh! Ah, I thought Nikov just upped himself. Ah, I want to see Nikov playing, man. Uh, fuck this. <laughs> These emotes or emojis. Some of them, they're, they're pretty cool. I also have like two in my channel. Haven't used them for quite a while. Are they working? Cat clap. 
Oh yeah, they are they are working. And another one was I forgot, man. You see, I was away for a while with the AOC and I forgot. Uh, bloody hell! The others are what are the others? You for real? Ah, there you go. Meat man, indeed. Cat troll and uh, cat. Yeeha! Can't sit in chat but on stream. Oh, okay. Why? Y you don't have better TTV enabled and uh, franker faces? I mean, what's the point, man? Those are super strong. And we have another player. You see, Valas. Another Finnish guy. I don't know him. So maybe it's Zupi, Slagtern, Max and Rubenstock, but Valas is playing where? So now must be uh, Miguel plus team. Let's change the name. Not VH anymore. Miguel plus team versus Winland. And let's reset the score since is not VH anymore. I'm here. That's a miracle. <laughs> Super Mega Boa TC. <laughs> Hate when this happens. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm thinking that uh, if you cannot see it, uh, you don't have, you don't have I I installed, you know, in your browser the better TTV or the Franker Faces. If you use Franker Faces like me, you need this add-on to see and use BTTV emotes. Mm, I don't have that one that you just linked meet man, but I have both Franker Faces and Better TTV. Let me check Fifi Z have the Franker Faces add on pack. Ah, thank you for this tip, man. I will add it. Thank you. Oh, oh, oh. you see, I didn't have it. Interesting. Ah, do you have to install shit to see the emotes? Yeah. What is cat clap? Sounds like a STD. <laughs> <laughs> no fools. <laughs> it's like clapping your hands when you say good job or congratulations, something like that. I know it's it's crappy, it's crappy name, nickname, whatever. But hey, in the heat of the moment, I just couldn't find a better name for it. And you also need a combination of letters. Uh, uh, well, number, capital letters, and so on. So I figured out starting with, uh, you know, K4T, the name of the channel, and then whatever it's the emote should be a good way to do. Seems that not everybody agrees on it. Katsuni got a cat clap from, from the hookers. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Which reminds me, soon I have to go, man. I have to, I have to go to hookers anytime soon. Haven't felt, you know, that the real deal in quite some time is what you get after a night with. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> ah, sometimes you have to to be naughty, you know, once in a while. Makes you feel, makes you feel good. Stay on the track relaxed ah, now they are probably they are talking about the teams since there are five Finnish dudes inside so we have Zupi the Max no it's four because Slackton is Swedish and he played with them so yeah maybe we will see a full of a full Winland team with Zupi Max Rubenstock and Valas and uh, in Miguel's team, he will be with uh, Slagtarn, with uh, the uh, with Liri and with Monos. Oh, uh, S Kugo or Skugo ninety five. Thank you for the follow, man. Thank you for the support. Kindly appreciated. Okie dokie. Will they start today? Come on, guys! It's getting late getting late I mean getting late too long between the two games and just when I say that the spec delay is displayed I don't see you co-casting with Mem anymore what happened Katsuni 
uh, Vercingetorix, I said this a thousand times, it's not your fault that you are not in my channel to hear it. Uh, lately, I think he is too selfish. He was uh, a selfish son of a gun in the past, but uh, after he had the second uh, kid, his son Noah, he became even more selfish. So, yeah, I think enough is enough. For me, at least. I wish him all the best. He's an amazing dude. Big thanks for whatever he, do, he does uh, still for AOC. And he did huge work. Deserves every bit of it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I prefer to, to stay alone and uh, to let him to be in his own way. He seems to be, uh, you know, doing uh, very well by himself. So that's it, man. Nothing, nothing else happened. Just a big selfish son of a gun. That's all. To me. But it doesn't matter. We have a 4v4 now. And the teams. Koreans, Zupi, Valas, Sarazens, Mayans for the Max and Rubenstock change. So full Winland versus Slagtern, Monos, Miguel and Leary. Aha. Uh -huh. Interesting. Let's see the pockets and the flanks. In this, uh, well, in this side of the map in uh, man, you're going to be casting the Nations Cup. Yeah, if they are in a good time, I mean, uh, not available. How to say, N not midnight or night time for me. Yeah, I, I will stream them in Vubli Official. I am. I enjoyed you two together, good friends. Keep up the good work. Thank you, uh, Versingetorix. And yeah, thank you for the kind words. It's no problem, man. We were, we were a pretty good, good team. But, uh, you know, friendship, teamwork, whatever, you know, that is a two-way road. Not everything for one and only something for the other. It's a two-way road, man. This is how I see it. Valas, no, it's not Viles. It's the first time actually I see uh, this nickname. Valas, it's almost 1900, 1 1.9k, as you can see. So, I don't know. So, in the upper flank, like I said, in the north, Zupi with Koreans, he will be versus Slagtarn with Chinese. Yeah, let's go chat off, by the way. Good uh, choice. And in the south, in the lower side of the map, Monos with Mayans, he is going to be versus Rubenstock with Chinese. Uh, when will you be the president of Europe? <laughs> Simply. <laughs> <laughs> when will you kiss and make up? I hope you someday. I hope you do. I don't know, man. Has some magic. Misty. Oh, Dracon in the house. What's up, guys? What's up? Best of luck, man, in Nations Cup. I'm going to cheer for you, guys. <laughs> I like. I like. They, they're aggressive. The Czech team is it, it, it's playing aggressive. I like them. Hope you, you guys will do uh, a good a good tournament. Right, so let's see the pockets. Now we have the max Ooh, with Mayans as a pocket. Well, better Mayans to be flank in my opinion than pocket. And Saracens Valas, right, for the Winland team. While for Miguel's team is Miguel with Saracens, pocket, and Leary with Koreans. Uh, Netherlands be better than Czech B. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Simply in the house in your game, but I will pay for Czech B. Doesn't matter, man. I mean, you guys, I know that usually uh, well, the Czech players, they, they're aggressive, man, which is great. Which is great, great, great. So, has some magic. I don't know, man. I, I don't know if, if, if this happens because now he has his own way and again, his own style, which is not appealing to me. Uh, I just said it, enough was and is enough for me. Now, I don't know if he will ever change just to, to, to please me. I mean, what's the point? He feels good the way he is, I'm assuming. So whenever you have something that it's uh, going well for you, why to change? What's the point? Maybe, I don't know, he will change it, I don't know. But until then, I'm not even thinking about it. One more time, best of luck for him and for everybody else, man. 
wish him all the best for him for his family amazing work big thanks for what he did and what he still does for AOC and this goes for every you know guy and chick involved in this game amazing to see it uh, after so so long still uh, going strong man that's that's great okay Loiza won't play why point now is to get four plays for B Loiza what what oh right you're right so let's see will we see some lamings I see the scout for Zupi going to find the enemy Zupi 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 but he's missing you know actually he can see the houses he can see this big uh, gold the main gold so he know that somewhere here behind I mean there in the fog of war must be the enemy town center right and the full base now I see a uh, yeah it's a pause in the game mango school of venka yannick error exit in a okay okay i thought you you will be in a uh, dragon seriously you you improved huge man uh, lately huge 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 haven't seen much of luisa since uh, masters oh yeah true 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 didn't play for quite too much lately uh, going back to our game monos with walls and the first one to be on the way to feudal age followed by rubenstock then slactar so to the right hand side here he is fully walled now i'm thinking that he will place some military buildings yeah between this stone and the houses to make it completely safe he has uh, the main gold in the back okay pretty good this is flaring from Zupi, probably pointing out the forward gold for Slagtarn there. Uh, yeah, now in running back mode. Yes. Uh, he has another gold there in the back, just in case he needs to Slagtarn, but that one is pretty far, far away. He's on stone though, interesting. Slagtarn with three villagers on stall from early dark age. Will he go forward? That's my question. Zupi with some palisade walls right the barrack is built and more palisade walls i think he wants to completely wall off his base right loom for miguel he will be on the way to fuel age uh yeah it seems that he will be the last one uh, to click up feudal age yeah he, he played gladiators of the arena with with terror true that yeah but he uh, likely didn't want to play whoa that is basically full of players of uh, yeah who play every single thing together for the last three years whoa okay okay got it so you guys uh check b who is there i mean i i, I will check the the roster myself later it's no problem <coughs> anyway uh, an outpost just to see some incoming raiding potentially some incoming raiding there from slack turn while zupi with three militias on the way to village now will he research them will he upgrade them into men at arms i don't know if that's worth it because slagtarn is already uh, up to fuel age but he is heavy on well heavy three villages uh, from a uh, dark age on stone so i'm thinking slagtarn wants to go up with uh, i mean uh, he will make another military building or he won't for now only a blacksmith so he probably will uh, build a market to buy the resources to castle age now this villager he might lose a villager he might lose a villager but kill the veal kill the veal slack turn kill the veal and make it a better game for you and your team come on kill the veal yes kill the sucker D -d don't stay what are you doing man i thought that you're up you are you're meaning full business anyway he's still hitting that veal and the veal getting lower and lower hp but the same his own scout slack turn okay going again for that villager and bye bye scout you see if you're not determined uh you don't kill that veal man you don't kill the villager uh -huh. uh, the active menu. no 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 he was man he was so castle age for miguel but first we see max on the way to castle age followed by leary and then miguel so two players from team miguel on the way to castle age uh, and now a second player after the max 
on the way to Castle Age for Team Winland, while uh, Zupi Zupi, well, he is in Feudal Age, but I don't see him researching the Man at Arms upgrade, so he is not going to do that. At least not for now. Monos going archers with uh, Mayans going archers. He doesn't have villages on stone, so no castle and prune archers for him. While Zupi now on the way to Castle Age. And these three militias still annoying the enemy player. Aha uh ha. -huh. The Senna CCB will be there for like 19%, but we don't know yet what place will be. Likely me, 16, 18 players, so no huge uh, ambitions. Well, uh, it's it's nice, it's cool that you guys will participate in the tournament. I mean, it's, a, it's an honor, right? To play along with these big teams, big names. That's great, man. Seriously, it's great. So yeah, market for Slackton. He wants to go up to Castle Age with Blacksmith Market. To build a castle and go with Chukonus most likely. Right, Zupi 36 population. Let's see the other place. 46 population for Monos. Monos uh, still pumping out some villagers. 31 population for Slagtarn. And yeah, resources looking okay-ish. Right, 500 stone. But he needs to sell the stone. Which he will do obviously to go up to castle age. 49 population for Ruben Stock. And Ruben stock with a full wall. Yeah, he, he has a full wall, right? But low, uh, low uh, resources and castle age here for the max. And the max already with three town centers. Well, no, two town centers now building the, uh, the castle to go plumed archers. Yeah, mains, mains, mains. More important, will Cocolino be playing the Nations Cup? I don't know, man. But uh, I'm thinking that he is. He's a legend already. And Italy must uh, must have their best player, man. If if they want uh, if they want to win, right? <laughs> the star of the previous nation, like I said, Cocolino, the legend. He is, man. He is a legend. Anyway, almost killing a villager here, the max. But the two villages for Monos was were just stronger than the one uh, and that one eagle. Cocolino, the legend. True that, indeed. Okay, let's see. The flaring here, oh, uh, okay, Valas was was trying to uh, deny that full palisade wall from Slactar, and uh, he was able to kill another villager, and he lost his own scout, so, scout, so Slactar, 32 population, the lowest in the game, though, to be honest, he's on the way to Castle Age, though, well, let's see, Maxi, Maxi, Max, what is he doing? Now he's uh, coming out with some pruned arches and did he build the third town center? Not yet. Well, as Mayans or Aztecs, they don't need crazy lot of villagers, right? That's a fact and this is Valas with knights, knights without any upgrades. But still, knights are knights. Trying to find some single villager or some good uh, spot where the enemy is building uh, something. Considering bringing some sexy AOE to my face. <laughs> Wapo deck, what's up, my man? So, Castle Age for Monosito. And now, Lily with padded armor. Bosso for Slacta. So, the second would upgrade. Uh, only the first farm upgrade for Zupi and Monos. Well, let's see. On the left flank, some crossbows from Zupi. Along with Valas's few knights. Now, uh, two more town centers. No, it's one town center with one castle for Slactar. So, indeed, he will go with Chukonus. While Liri is war wow, is, is with war wagons. Seriously? How many town centers for him? Two town centers and coming out with war wagons. Those are pretty expensive. I mean, I don't know how effective this might be. Nevertheless, nevertheless. They are strong. If you will be able to gather enough of them, like 15, 20, those are pretty badass with 150 hit points. They can take a lot of hits, if you know what I mean. My ass is ready to some AOE penetration. <laughs> My god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Give him the, the cat clap. Oh my god. <laughs> the cat clap. <laughs> you guys are crazy, man. Okay. 
So let's see, Rubenstock, Rubenstock, Rubenstock has something in both those archie ranges. Uh, waiting for the castle age, right? While Miguel, knights, 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 but where to? Where to? He's in between the Max and Rubenstock, so, so decide. Now he's going to Rubenstock, but it's a full wall. Yes, it is a full wall. As you can see, Miguel asking, yeah, X, 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 asking a flooding where to send his knights. While Leary, now with more war wagons, whoa, Leary war wagons and Chukonus from Slack Tar. While on the other side, the crossbows from Zupi. Korean still to archery ranges, one, two. Now the third town center incoming for Zupi. Handir TV, thank you for the follow, man. Thank you for the support. Uh, I appreciate. And so are you gonna cast uh, uh, another tournament soon? Uh, Jerome's dream, yes. The Nations Cup. I will. I will cast in Vubli official. The games for the tournament, of course, if they are played uh, in a in a good time for for me. I mean, not in a.m. like two three a.m. But uh, during the day, uh, I will, if there is something, uh, you know, working for me, I will, I will try to, to find uh, good timing for the tournament games and for the work as well. That's a big one. Yeah, man. What does, uh, it's an old forum website. I go to called games with jobs. Oh, yes. Okay. Meet man. Girls wants G's. <laughs> Plix found a, a great combination of words, man. Good job. Right, stone mining while Vala's chain barding armor. I don't see too many things happening here. Well, Zupi seems to have some problems, but being in Castle Age, he should be fine. Three town centers, so the yeah, the population is okay. 76. It's actually quite good. And now with one defensive siege workshop, I think he should be fine. Even though the Chukonus are stronger than uh, the crossbows, uh, Zupi should be fine. He was pushing back for now Slacktarn with uh, university uh, to build, right? To research uh, ballistics. Ah, that's any button. Vubli official, we can't talk dirty about boobies. Not like this. I know Liverpool. I know, man. But uh, hey, you have to, you have to find, you know, like, like a balance. Uh, but I, I'm gonna stream those tournament games. Sorry, I, I'm gonna stream them, man. In in Vubli official channel, it's a partner channel, fully featured, right, with all the options available. So yeah, it's it's not. A small channel like mine not pardon and so i i know that uh, i know what you mean here you can talk freely about whatever uh, you want and whenever you want of course if it's not too too extreme but uh, yeah we have to behave there that's an open channel uh, even uh, underaged uh, legally underaged uh, you know dudes and dudettes can watch it without worry that uh, you know what i mean uh, but I know, I, I know also uh, the the feeling. You cannot talk everything. I will also try to uh, to focus, not to not to bring these topics uh, uh, up on point. There, you know what I mean. Okay, we have some ratings from the max with plumed arches, but these knights from Miguel they are with plus two armor and bloodline, so they can also take a lot of hits until they are dying. While on the left hand side, the crossbows for Zupi. Well, good micro here for for him. Good job. He also had the numbers to be uh, to be honest. Zupi with 23 army, while Slacktan with uh, almost half 12 now 13. So the number didn't help him too too much. Uh, talk about uh, shaving his ass hair to make his ass cheeks get a better sun. <laughs> Can't do that. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, yes, Gal G Gadot. Uh, he is uh, hot in he is not uh, is, is hot not only in Wonder Woman. I I like that chick, man. I mean, I was started to to look information about her when I when I first saw Gal Gadot playing in Fast and Furious. It was six or seven, you know, that when they did 
uh, that hit uh, in Brazil and uh, yeah when she was uh, going uh, to take that uh, fingerprint you know from that uh, big bad boss the Brazilian boss and that dude just slapped her butt or anyway put her hand on her butt and they got the fingerprint I mean back then she was not like a superstar or, or whatever yes. but I was like Woo, who is that chick man I mean love just to find out that uh, she's another Jupa cover <coughs> yes you're right man <coughs> I know I know anyway we have a push here from Leary and uh, from Slacktarn into Zupi. But like I said, Zupi should be fine. Now he also has the support from Valas, those knights with bloodlines, plus one attack and plus two armor, so almost full upgraded knights. While on the other flank, also pretty big fight here with Rubenstock's crossbows. Rubenstock crossbows and uh, the max with plume archers against uh, against against the knights from Miguel. Uh, the knights from Miguel and some crossbows from Monos, but Monos doesn't have enough numbers and now in danger of losing everything. Now researching uh, handcart and thumb ring, Monos. While we have two guys going to, uh, to Imperial Age, Liri in one team, the Max on the other team, and now Valas, the second player in Winland, going to Imperial Age, but the same for the other team, Miguel's team, Miguel on the way to Imperial Age as well, man. It's Jupacabra, please fix, yeah. <laughs> you don't know what a, what a Jupacabra is, of course I know, man. Katsuni getting super horny, not uh, getting super horny, I am a ho a super horny all the time, man. I mean, e every time, whenever I see a hot chick, I'm like, -hoo -hoo. who's the bloody hottie, man? Is a myth of a monster in South America. I know, Plix, but uh, the Jupacabras are dangerous creatures from, uh, you know, Israel. Jupacabra, man, or I know, man, I know. Chupacabra. I can't explain the word. <laughs> Protect your holes. <laughs> okay. Imperial Age now for Miguel, uh, for Zupi. Zupi, Zupi still holding uh, the ground here. That's pretty good. Rebuilding the house to cover the hole and building a castle on top of that hill is the first castle for Zupi with another siege workshop. He had the pre one previously, but now uh, another one. He got it destroyed. I, I think Monos on the way to Imperial Age. Uh, in this flank, it seems that also Rubenstock. Uh, uh, this, this is Rubenstock. Yeah, Rubenstock was able to uh, hold against this raiding from Miguel and from Monos. But these two players were kind of in between the two bases they didn't attack uh, straight there into a straight line i mean so they were kind of in between them why i don't know uh jupacabra is but i have never seen one <coughs> dangerous israeli bitches jupacabra <laughs> <coughs> yeah uh you got it right plix you got it right man so yeah, Gal is a Jupacabra, yes. Natalie Portman is a Jupacabra, uh, Bar Rafael is a Jupacabra. I mean, they have they, they have quite a few of them. Pretty hot, man. Pretty hot. Right, you're right. So Imperial Age now for all the players who is not on the way to Imp. Even Rubenstock is on the way to Imp, 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 Imp. Slack are on the way to Imp, yeah. Uh, now Valas even researching the heavy camel upgrade, so let's see, let's focus on the right flank here, where Monos has a castle, ooh, Elite Eagle Warriors from the Max with Eldorado, those are pretty badass, and since Monos chose to go instead of uh, plume archers, for now crossbows, he might be in danger, whoa, but that castle for now on top of the hill, uh, it's pretty well placed. Okay, so let's see that castle from, from, from the Max. He will bring villagers to finish that one, that's for sure. But Max is in full raiding mode. Well, full raiding mode, meaning for now he's sending some Elite Eagles into, uh, as we can see, Miguel's base. Some of them uh, helping here 
uh, Rubenstock uh, to push. Now Rubenstock with Arbalists right in the other flank though. These are Elite War Wagons. No, not Elite War Wagons, at least not yet. Ali is with only Boar Baggons, like you say, Boar Baggons. Maybe Trump is building the wall because of Chupacabras. <laughs> no, he's building the wall because <coughs> he's ignorant as fuck. Okay, Zupi needs to mess Boar Baggons, I agree, man. But he is in pushing mode. One trip to destroy this defensive castle of Slag Town and then Slag Town. What does he have? That's the only no. He has another castle there in the back, but obviously you want to have more than one. And Max still sending those elite eagles, and some of them are also raiding Monos base. Monos with elite pruned archers, though. And like I said, the elite pruned archers are very good counter for the elite eagles. And cost wise, they are much, much better. But let's see. It seems that the double in the left hand side soon yes. will be strong enough for uh, from Leary and uh, from Leary and from Slagtarn but let's see now Slagtarn in danger of losing this one castle oh ho, ho! <clears throat> and Zupi with onagers to counter the incoming Chukonus elite Chukonus on the way upgrade for Slagtarn and this castle because of the two and now a third Treb will go down for sure, man. He cannot keep that one repaired forever. You, you guys will see. And Max still raiding with his elite eagles. Now some of the elite eagles in Leary's base, and Leary doesn't have anything back home uh, to defend against that one. Check it out. And the Max in the lead, 173 population, big problems, they're flaring, where to push it, the, the defensive castle for Slagtan, the one forward is down, now the town center will follow and potentially more military buildings, and also the push on the right hand side still continues, but the elite Plumdrach now from Monos can do some work here, anyway, three traps now four traps to take down that castle placed on the hill, and I think good chances for Rubenstock to destroy that castle. Now he's out of stone and the castle is bye-bye. No, he just bought a hundred stone, but I think it's too late. Two, three trips left. And yeah, another round of hits and the castle is down. On top of that, now Cap Ramps incoming for Rubenstock. Uh, Onager for Miguel upgrade. Siege Ramp for Rubenstock. So push in both flanks. Uh, we have elite boar baggons though for Leary, while these are elite, no, not yet elite boar baggons for Zupi. A lot of boar baggons here for Leary. Will he be able to hold? But these onagers are really threatening the Koreans. If Zupi will research those into siege onagers, then obviously they will be even stronger than this. And these are elite chukonus, yes, elite chukonus to help those elite boar baggons to hold the ground. While on the right hand side, okay, the castle is down. And like I said, the plumed archers are a, a, a much better and stronger unit than uh, arbalist, and they can also hold against the elite plumed, uh, the, the, the elite eagles. Excuse me. So let's see if Miguel, either Miguel or Monos will be able to also destroy these castles placed on the hill. But I think that the biggest problems is in the left flank for team uh, Miguel, obviously. The push from Zupi uh, and from Valas still continues and Valas is with elite mamacitas. Ay, ay, ay. Now these are super badass unit. You need like uh, a group of uh, siege onagers to be able to take them down, otherwise super, super strong. And we see Valas will bring some villages forward to build more military buildings. And uh, now the population for Slackland dropping to 141, but for Lily dro dropping to 130. And the Elite Eagles, some of the Elite Eagles still in the raiding mode and they call the GG man, unable to hold any much longer. The, yeah, the Max, the Max with the push here uh, in both sides actually force the other team to call the GG but like I said the biggest problem was on the left flank here with Zupi and Valas in full push mode and Liri unable unable to hold for any much longer so we have the 1-0 for team Winland uh, why do you know so much Spanish cuts I don't know mala madre <laughs> I know culo, tetas, I mean a few words man, I, I don't know too many things, seriously. 
Okay, fast achievements, 190 kills for the max, woo, and also largest army 59, let's see, economy slink, nah, it was just some resources from max to Rubenstock and max with the best uh, gold, while food was for Valas, stone for Liri, and wood for Zupi, and the fastest Imperial Age Liri, under 32 minutes, 3144, Bridges highest, the max, uh, no, it was Liri, 146, the max had only one relic, <laughs> but... Uh, took it uh, late in the game. It wasn't. It wasn't uh, doing something super important. Miguel is a very strong player. I totally agree. Just uh, the most important words. Yes, Google. Just the. But, well, if you go to a foreign uh, country, right? Don't you want to know if somebody is talking bad about you, right? You have to know the bad words. If he's uh, cursing or talking bad. Uh, about you or your mom, family or whatever, you want to know, right? So it's important, in my opinion, to know these words, to learn these words. Even they should be learned first, man. Just to, to, to know, uh, you know, if you are in one sort of situation like that. Anyway, guys, this was the last game for me for today, for tonight. So thank you for all the support, everybody. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching and you guys have fun with more AOC. I will uh, host Miguel, totally deserves it, right? Maybe MBL will also come back later to uh, play and stream. For now, have fun, have a great morning, evening, afternoon, nine, night, wherever you are. And see you guys most likely tomorrow with some more AOC. So bye bye everybody for now. Thanks for watching one more time. We love this game.